Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the first. No, oh my god, I did the Pokemon one. The first, <laughs> the first edition podcast. Oh my god, <laughs> let me do it again. And on that oh, one, that's I'd... staying, bro. Huh? This is staying. This is all. Oh, weird. is it in? Well, is the... you can still redo the intro, but that's just staying in. On that podcast, I do what's good. Oh my god, I don't know what's wrong with me. Yo, what's up, guys? And welcome back to the What's Good <laughs> podcast. It's because I just I, I'm, I'm gonna get them to do the intro next time. Or you to do the intro on here. Who's them? Oh, the Greater Gem guys. I do the podcast. Oh, okay. Right. I thought you meant the guest. Oh, no. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I can't bring a guest on this podcast and go, you'll do the intro. Yo, yo Chris. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to say, by the way, Chris was fuming. Why? Because of the uh, the thumbnail choice. Did he, did he message you? He messaged, did he message you? No, I don't know. Uh, he messaged me straight away and... Yeah, he was. He was not. He was not best pleased. Because I know you put it in the chat in the What's Good chat to change the thumbnail, but I didn't know if it was just you doing it or if he actually had a request. No, he put a picture. He put the picture of the thumbnail and said, "Put crying faces and said, I've been abused in this thumbnail." <laughs> then I've gone to watch it and realised I looked like that. Oh no! He said, "That's one of the screenshots you click off instantly. A freeze frame during editing that you never want to see again." <laughs> well, and then apparently he uh he got mocked by the others. For, for that thumbnail, his friends like Freezy and oh. oh, I said like, so, I'm sorry, lad. That, that is what you look like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, it's, a, it's not the best screenshot, but it, it was just what you looked. Like. Yeah, I guess thumbnails are hard. I mean, yeah, I guess that's on your bro. <laughs> yeah. So Nick, Chris is a uh, Chris is not happy with you. So, uh, yeah, to be fair, it is hard though when you're trying to like screen grab someone else because you're not them, right? So you don't know how like you. That's the thing, everyone, everyone portrays themselves differently. Yeah. So like, like, it's like Talia, for example, if I ever take a picture of her for Instagram, and I'm like, yeah, that was a good one. She's like, mm, no, it's not don't good. Like this. Yeah, I get that. I do the same as well. When she yeah. takes a picture of me, I'm like, nope, don't like that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, what have you been doing for the last week? <sighs> Bro, what have I been doing? Um, well, I think I've been getting addicted to a few things. Oh, no. Yeah. Got addicted to Blackjack for a weekend. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Got addicted to uh, what else? Did, uh, Valorant, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> um, and b- uh, basketball cards, NBA cards. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have you bought more? Have yeah, bought I bought loads. Like lo- okay. <laughs> I bought a box and I enjoyed it and then I bought loads more. Oh and I will buy, will buy more. I don't know. Like Pokemon's just so stressful at the minute. It's just so, such a toxic community right now. You also turned it into your work. No, that's not. People keep saying that. But that's not it. Like the business and you the and say that, but it's not. I, I honestly, swear down. Like, I, like the channel causes me more stress than the store does. I love the store. No, but that's what I mean. It's still all related oh, okay. to Pokemon. So it's yeah, like, yeah. If you do something in the back of your mind, it might be still to do with work. Yeah. Like even even when you're buying cards that you just like, mm. in the back of your mind it still relates to your work. Yeah. Whereas if you buy a base, a base, not baseball, an NBA baseball. card, then it's a card. Yeah, it's similar, but it's not, it's nothing to do with Pokemon. Yeah, I get it. To an extent, yeah. That is just pure like leisure time spending. Yeah, but at the same time, the community is toxic. Like, it's not like, <laughs> it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not just because like, I mean, I've been doing it for my work for like a year and a half and it's been, I've been happy. And then re- recently, it's just been, people just idiots, man. Um, but yeah, M- NBA has been great. Um, Blackjack wasn't too great. How 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 much? Uh, I think I, I put in five hundred pounds, right, and then I won five hundred pounds. Yeah, after quite... that gambling month, and we were yeah. both like, "Yeah, it's good now. We're both done." Well, I put quite <laughs> a bit in. I put quite a bit in, but I was you now I was having fun, um, and I lost it. No, no, sorry. Then then I I won it. I won like double, so I won like a grand. So I, I withdrew five hundred to make sure that like what I put in, and then the rest yeah. is just like playing around. But then I lost the playing around money. I was like, oh, I want more. So then I put my 500 pound back in. I want more. <laughs> and I lost that and put th- uh, 300 pound in. So I'm 800, I was 800 pound down. Oh but I've, I've, not, I've, I've not put any more in. Oh my God. So I've walked away. I felt, you know how guilty I felt about myself? The fact that last weekend I put, or, what was it? I think it was Friday. I put in 20 quid in Skybet. Yeah. Oh, did you? But it was 20 quid and I yeah. felt awful. Nah, it, like, it, you've just done 800. Or- <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it is, it's bad. Um, it is bad, yeah. Well, it's because I was trying to use my free bet and I couldn't figure out how to do it. Got you. So I ended up just putting 20 on. because To get a free bet? <laughs> no. Well, to try and figure out how to do it. And then, yeah. Well, it's because, right? United went 1-0 up. Yeah. And the odds were still 2-1. to one Yeah. Did, did you do win. it? So I put a fiver on them. Yeah, they won. Yeah, so I'm on. I'm up to 23, 24 pounds Jeez, now. Jeez, come on. But yeah, that I'm going to literally... The thing I've realized that's making me like addicted, or was making me addicted, was watching other matches mm. like teams I've never heard of yeah like this for example you'd watch it anyway if I'm gonna watch you know a Chelsea Tottenham game yeah just chuck three pounds on it okay like, just three pounds 
doesn't really change much, but it just gives you that little bit more mm -hmm. involvement because I don't care who wins that game. Yeah. Whereas, you know, like the Leeds West Ham game last night, I don't need to bet on that. It's Leeds. I oh, anyway, right, didn't you like have two goals disallowed yes. and lost 2 0? Yes. <laughs> That's awful. But I am already involved in that. So I don't need to, yeah, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not addicted. <laughs> well, that, that's the first sign of addiction, though. Oh, fully. But uh, gambling is so actually, bad. It's, like, honestly, I, I went, it's, it's awful. I, it's awful. So, <laughs> it's so guys bad, right? So I, I put 500 in, took it out. There you go. It wasn't 800. It was no, like it, was, it was. It was. <laughs> uh, so I, I had started with 500. Just and, 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 and I went in, right, being like, right, I'm just going to have fun, no matter what happens. I'm not, to be clear, I'm not gambling to earn money either. I'm literally just, I want to play for fun. But like, if it's not, <laughs> without money, it's not fun, is it? Wow. Like with credits, it's just not fun. Wow. <laughs> it's not. Um, so I put 500 in. Were you even with anyone? No. Oh. Uh, no, no, I was. Yeah, I was on Discord. I was okay. on Discord with a few mates at first, right? Okay. So then I, I won, then I withdrew it. So I was like, no, no, I didn't spend anything. I was like, even, right? Then I lost that. Then I put 300 in. But then on 300, I got like three grand. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, then I got, I got Why didn't you take out the 500 again? <laughs> yeah, but, but I was watching a film. It was like 3 a.m. Right, I was in, the, in my living room watching a film. I was like, oh, I'm just messing around. <laughs> I just didn't respect the money at all. It's got, honestly, but then I lost it. Right, I went to bed and I was like, I couldn't sleep. I was like, I can't believe I lost 300 pounds. Honestly, just, guys, don't gamble. It's, it's so bad. Oh my and god! And then to make it worse, right? I woke up this morning and then Nick, the accountant, messaged me because Sam sent him a clip from the podcast last week where I said I'm I'm scared of putting money in. For my account to judge me, and then now he's but he, and now and then, so he's seen it and he messaged me saying yeah, I saw the clip. Oh my god! <laughs> then now he's, he's gonna see me take five hundred out and put five hundred back in again. Like wow, this guy's on off the rails. <laughs> but yeah, do not gamble. It's awful. Honestly. No, it's don't. so bad. Like, well, that's I think that's a big sign as well when you're just doing it on your own. Yeah, because admit like those bet like I only put that bet on United. Yeah. That game, I was in a call with someone. I was like, oh, you know, the odds are quite, you know. Yeah. I, I am a little bit addicted, but not. Bro, I, 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 I think I found the good point. I had to open, I had to get addicted to Valorant and stop me playing Blackjack. That's what I need to find. <laughs> I need to find that thing that takes my attention away. Yeah, because it's just, it's just locked. Honestly, it is locked down. I'm so bored. Yeah. Like, I'm just trying I'm to find stuff to do. Legit. Like, see, when you go to Vegas, right? I'll, I'll do that at Vegas, and it is what it is, right? Like, when you go to Vegas, you, you, expect that. you go to lose money, yeah. realistically. Um, so I was, I was at Vegas, but in reality, I was in my living room watching Netflix. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? I was like, what's, what am I doing? I bet you're dressed in like your blazer and stuff, <laughs> like, and your shirt, like you're out going out in Vegas. Yeah. Just sat there. Velvet Run. Yeah. But I was moving like JJ. I was, it got to the point where, you know where JJ, like, um, he messaged you like, bro, can you, uh, can you send me some money on Pokestars? Because oh I hit my limit. And then Laura was like, do you want to use my account? I was like, Laura, don't enable me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it, it was just it was just for fun, guys. But I did find myself getting addicted. And the sad part is, it, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't even be talking about this really, but the sad part is that people will do this with money. I, I, I can afford to lose that, or I could at the time. Well, wait, no, wait. <laughs> that sounds like a... Cut now, he lost it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I went into it like knowing I would definitely lose it really. Um, but then people who can't, is is a sad, so sad. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I was stressing out about losing through the good. Um, so someone, someone who can't, who doesn't have that, is it's bad. Gambling Mine's is always so bad. like depending on how long it takes me. Like if I, so if I go to a casino for example, and I'm like, okay, I can lose a hundred pounds tonight. Yeah. But if I lose that in twenty minutes, I am pissed. Yeah. But if it, you know, if if I go gamble for an hour and then I chill, have some drinks, go gamble for an hour, chill, have some drinks, gamble for yeah. an hour, and then I've lost it, that's calm. Yeah. I've spent a hundred pounds like. For seven hours, it, it, but when you when you like put it all on black and you lose it, it, it feels horrible. Then I'm just like, the worst part is when you go to Vegas, right? I'll like obviously sit with JJ because he like he likes to gamble at, at Vegas, but he's he goes on the tables and the minimums are high, super high, yeah. which is fine. Minimums like high minimums are okay when you're playing blackjack and stuff because it's like one hand like five pound or ten pound or whatever. But it's when you do blackjack and the minimum bet on each number is massive. Roulette, R roulette. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, so, that, so I'll yeah, put, like, I know because you wanna you wanna just. Spread out a load of like 50 P's on numbers. <laughs> yeah. Go big yeah. on black. Yeah. 10, 10 pounds, 20 pounds on black. But and then 10 P on this. 10 50 P on zero. If that comes in, I'm a bowler. Yeah. And they look at you like, nah, just, you can't do that. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Right, it's a 10 pound but then, so then, but then now I've got to go sit on my own. Yeah. Away from everyone else on the, on the little table. That's why. I mean, Laura, when we went last time, we just did the slots. And like, Wheel of Fortune and stuff. So, so fun. They are really but $100 fun. and just click, keep, keep clicking go <laughs> <laughs> until it's zero. And then you were. <laughs> but it lasts for ages, though. It is literally like. 100 down to 70. Oh, you have 120. Yeah. Back up to 90. Down to 50. Back up to 70. Yeah, yeah. And just keep the, going. They know how to make money out of you because they'll, they'll give you a bit of hope, right? Because yeah. you'll be like, oh, I'm on my last like three pounds. Then they'll make you win like 300 quid. Yeah. And you just keep pressing it down until you go zero. You, you go down to zero and you're like, well, I didn't win in ages. So if I put in more, <laughs> yeah. surely I'm going to win again soon. Yeah. And then I'll, then I'll, then I'll cancel. Yeah. Then I'll stop. 
Well, when I, when I got to the, the, the three grand, I don't know. I was like, I was, um, it, was, it came on roulette, right? So it kept going red. It was like red for like 12 in a row. But I, so I was like, right, black's going to come in oh in a minute. My it just God. never did. I, was, I, felt like, I felt like shit. So don't gamble. It's, it's actually the worst thing in the world. Um, I had it from playing blackjack, but like, it was, it, yeah. It was, <laughs> so then I started playing Valorant. <sighs> Josh and Tali wanted me to play, right? So I played with them one session. And to be fair, I didn't really enjoy it that much. Because they were like doing call. I said to them at the start, right? I don't know the call outs. I don't know anything. And they kept doing call outs. I don't know. I was like, it's not I'm like, stop it, guys. <laughs> so I was like, I'm in heaven. I'm like, where's, where's heaven? Good for you. Yeah. So I had no idea. And I started playing a little bit like off, uh, off, off stream with some mates. And I've been enjoying it then. But, yeah, no, they've all been playing a lot. Yeah. yeah. So 10 and a half hours yesterday. Really? Yeah. Damn. I can't, I can't do it. You don't like it? I haven't actually played it. Did you play it? Just really? watching it though, it's just like it's so slow. Mm. Oh, I heard that. Oh, I just banged my teeth. Banged your own tooth with a glass. Uh, well, did I have a bike last time? No. So I got a bike. Hey, finally got finally. it. Took a month. Yeah. Well, yeah. Same with my desk still not arrived. Needs mine. Oh yeah. Yeah. But the bike. Well, Viz ordered the same bike mm, the same day. Got it. Got it. In a, different in sizes, right? Large and extra large. And he got his in seven days. Oh my god! Yeah, mine took a month. My tooth really hurts. <laughs> but yeah, sorry, what? But I've I've been out on one bike ride. Yeah, I uh, Chris was filming. I I did the cycle alone. Yeah, okay. Because Chris was filming. I thought was uh yeah like somewhere else in London kind of thing. Yeah. So I cycled from here to there, mm-hmm. filmed the football video, and cycled home. Nice. But I'm fuming, right? Why? Because I was meant to do a more sideman football video Wednesday. Mm-hmm. My own football video Thursday, and then Chris's football video Thursday, Friday. Oh, no. So I was like, I get to play football uh, three days in a row. You know how sick this is? Yeah. I haven't played since lockdown. Mm. Um, more side men gets cancelled. Oh, why? Uh, some the stuff happened and we couldn't do it, basically. Long, Got you. Long story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Then my shoot, I can't do it because half of the video hadn't arrived yet. Okay. I'm doing like a cheap versus expensive yeah. boots, and the, one of the pairs of boots hasn't arrived, or hadn't. It has the cheap now. one. Yeah. So annoying. <laughs> uh, it cost me £1.60 though. So, but then I had to cancel that and then Chris's one. Yeah. I was like, okay, this one's happening. So I cycle there. We film them and he booked the pitch like 12 till 4 or 11.30 till 4 or something like that. We finished filming at like quarter past two and then everyone's like, all right, cool. Uh, we're going to head home. And I'm like, we have the pitch for another two hours yeah, and I haven't it. kicked a football for like a year yeah please can we just please pass Play. the ball around everyone just leaves oh no did you just send your own i didn't have football oh no so it was well, the ball with them. well chris uh chris his goalkeeper connor and mark were there yeah and they all stayed to like pack up and stuff but their balls had been kicked over so like harry ethan theo uh they all they all left yeah um yeah, so they took the footballs. Sad. Yeah. Damn. So I was left. You just cycled home. So I cycled home and it absolutely killed my arsehole. Oh, because the, 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 seat, the seat. Bro, the bite, like the seat is yeah. like up in there. Yeah, the and seats it hurts. are really thin, aren't they? Yeah, so like, next couple of days, bikes. next couple of days have been me like waddling around. It hurts. But I'm happy I got to kick a football and one of the things that happened in it, I'll show you afterwards, is very sick. Okay. Yeah. Do you hit Kevin De Bruyne in the face? No, but I hit something else. The crossbar. No, but I, I, like honestly, I think one of his videos is coming out this week, and okay. then the next one's next week. All right, but it's next week's one I'm talking about. You'll see. Okay, and we'll it see is it. sick. I'll show you after this. Yeah, yeah, nice. but it's very sick. Great. Great. That is all I've done this week, and yeah. some sideman shoots, but sideman stuff. But yeah, boring. It's boring. Sideman yeah. sucks, man. It does. Yeah, not really. But um, <laughs> nah, it's been a bit. Of, yeah, an uneventful week. Yeah, I'm honestly getting really bored. Yeah, like, I'm fully bored now. <laughs> well, yeah, because like for me, the whole th- in lockdown, like Pokemon just been like taking up all my time. But like, I, could just, it's at the point where I didn't even post yesterday. I just, I just like had no interest in opening any packs or doing anything. Damn, I don't know. I'm just trying to find a spark again, but just Valorant, just Valorant, yeah. And like, and then Josh was saying as well, it's not really a video type of game, is it? Valorant stinks on YouTube. Yeah, you can stream it. Streaming is pretty good actually, because it's like a chill game. Streaming does alright, but yeah, on YouTube, on YouTube, really, same thing as like most games. A lot, a lot of like good streaming games. Outside of Among Us, aren't really great on YouTube. It's because I feel like FPSs and stuff, you know, zombies is different, but any like player, like PvP, people just want to see you be good. Yeah. Or like a good level of trolling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And all these games, 
don't work with trolling. That's why Fortnite worked so well because like it's so colorful. And they made the creative. So. Yeah, Fortnite they they were smart with it. Like playing Valorant ranked. Yeah. There's no point where you are being like entertaining to the camera unless you get a kill. And yeah, unless someone plays Valorant and wants to watch you and learn from you. Yeah, but you that's where you got to be like a good, yeah. like a really good level. Like if you're there, you know, one of the lower ranks and you're trying to give tips. Yeah. <laughs> it's like why? Why am I listening to them? True. True. So yeah. Getting very bored. Please can lockdown just... Change. Yeah, it's enough now. I'm also getting very bored of... I'll be honest, I'm getting very bored of sidemen shoots. Really? Yeah, because we're being very limited in what we can do. Yeah. Whereas we have so many ideas. Mm. Like the trip to LA, the trip to Dubai, like all of this stuff was... Yeah. It's going to... The videos are going to be so sick and fun. I feel like you need a trip to keep you going, don't you? Like even if it wasn't a holiday, even if it was like a trip for work, like just yeah. going... Like when we went to New York that time... Just change yeah. the scenery. Usually you change the scenery, yeah, and you get back and you get motivated again. Yeah. Whereas there's nothing to get back from. <laughs> So it's just every day is like, oh. That's what I feel like we've been in this room. Like we, we come here once a week yeah. to film this. I feel like it's been two days since we last filmed. Yeah, honestly, it comes around so quick yeah. every time. And, and to be honest, like, I think, to be fair, we smashed the podcast throughout the whole lockdown, to be honest. But I don't know how because there's been nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, like, we just waffle like this. <laughs> yeah. But I guess that's what people like at the end of the day. That's what I like to do. I'd rather talk about this than like drama and stuff. Yeah. Um, we've also ordered the wall. We have, yeah. The setup will be here. We've got a guest lined up as well for the first episode. Yeah. Well, it's not locked in yet, though. But it will be. It will be. We'll make sure it happens. Yeah, yeah, we will. I'll, um, if not, I'll... I was going to say it's not horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna, well it's, don't. <laughs> no, this is a joke. I was going to say if they don't, I'll just murder them. Oh. <laughs> but but I, that's so... No, 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 that, that's so, like, extreme. It was obviously a joke. <laughs> sure. I don't, I don't murder people. Should we, should we do the what's a good question? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what, okay. What's the what's a good question this week? Uh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> Okay. That was just a joke, by the way. Please, <laughs> please know the joke. So, um, today's ones yeah. come from Molly. Hello, Molly. Uh, 692 likes. So we can get more than that. Come on. I want to see a thousand likes on it. All right. I want to see right. a thousand likes. I'm pretty certain Jacob Silver. Oh, he got a thousand last week. I'm pretty certain. And I'm pretty certain the timestamps get over that. <laughs> Damn. All right. <laughs> Molly, unlucky Molly. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So, first one from Molly. Disposable cameras. Um. Oh, am I like ready? On, leave them on. No, I leave them off. I'm gonna take them off. I'm not the biggest fan of disposable cameras, you know. No, no, I love them and I love the concept of them. However, what I don't like is, you know, when you go to like, so when we go to Vegas or when you go like New Year's or something, and say like Cal or someone's already got, always got a disposable camera, I never see the photos. That's true. I like, I like the idea of having <laughs> like a house party and. I really like the whole thing of a house party. No one has phones. Yeah. That's that's so sick. Yeah. But you leave out 10 disposable cameras. Yeah. And you just leave them around and people can pick them up, take photos. But where do they go? But no one ever gets those photos. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm like, pretty certain I didn't even get the ones at our house. Yeah. That's that's our house. How yeah. Yeah. To be fair, actually, I, did, I think I did see some from the fight. I think Lux put, posted them somewhere online where you could save them from. But okay. you're all right. Like in general, you do usually never see them ever again, again. Yeah. And that person just holds them. And there could be like a really embarrassing moment that you don't know exists that they have now the hold the power of. Yeah. But uh, but I think I think the concept's nice, especially the ones that come out straight away. Polaroid, they're, they're sick. Those are really cool. Give like a little bit. No, of th- yeah, that's different. Like that's a hundred percent. I'd leave my light on uh, okay. all the time because those is literally yeah. You take the photo and then you just take it. Yeah. That's yours. Yeah. But uh, well, I mean, there's the app. The, disposable app, the disposable, David Dobrik. The David Dobrik app. I don't really get it. I think you get a disposable camera, like a small one, and then you take a photo on that like a disposable camera, but it sends it to your phone. That's good then. Straight so away. That's, that's quite good. But it does already exist, it exist, right? I don't know. I'm sure it does. I mean, that seems, that would make sure that you got it, I guess. But even then, the whole point is you don't have your phone. You only have the camera for me. Yeah, but, then, but, but unless like it just sends it to the cloud later. Do you know what I mean? Like you, yeah. you take disposable and then later on it does. The advert was really good, but it was weird because it's like, it's, it's like a created disposable cameras, right? Yeah. Just it was, old, it was just, a really weird It's like just looking at old photos. No, it was really good. Like it was really heartwarming, but it, it was just looking at old photos as if like that's never been done before. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I have to look into the app. It, look, it looks cool. Okay. Uh, the second one is prom. Prom. Uh, prom. Um, no, I after- feel like this is definitely more an American thing. Like yeah, we, we, we prom, have though. we have it, but I feel like the not as serious. Yeah, there's no like prom queen and all that. No, but that, the thing is, is that even true though, or do we just do we just see that in films? Like I think it is I, true. I, our perception in the UK of America is only through film and TV, right? By the way, 
and I guess now social media. Do you know what I mean? They're like we never, I know, like, yeah, I the typical high you. school might not even exist. <laughs> it might just be through TV shows like Riverdale. But I feel like I like we all know enough Americans now because of the way social media works. Like you speak to an American, yeah, every but, now and then, but I don't really go like, oh, well, you know, tell me about your school life. True, but I feel like they would be so offended that that's what they that's what they're portrayed as. Yeah, they'll be like, oh, by the way, High School Musical, pff, not accurate. But like, <laughs> no one does that. I've never thought High School Musical was accurate. <laughs> as, <laughs> no, no, as one of the ones you've chosen. <laughs> but no, but the, the actual like High School life would be right. They try, yeah, like, try the, to be. Yeah, like the clicks, the jocks, etc. Because like. to be fair, in between is is very accurate. Like, to, like it is. Like, that's why it's so funny because yeah. everyone can relate to it. So maybe it is is true. Anyway, regardless, uh, prom. I'm gonna turn my light off. Did you have a name for prom? Or was it prom? It's prom, I think. Because we had our... Like, okay, what what years did you have your prom? Last you had year. One, did you not have one in like year six, just before nah. secondary school? No, nah, only, sec- only year 11. We yeah. had one then. Year 11? Yeah, when we left I school. I don't think we even had a year 11. We had a year 13. I oh, know. Well, we well, I, I didn't have a sixth form. So we our school ends at year 11. You can't drive... No, you're 18 and year 13, aren't you? No. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah, sorry, but what I'm saying is I didn't have year twelve or thirteen, it didn't exist. Yeah, yeah, but I that's what I'm saying. We didn't have one in year eleven, we had one in year thirteen. Oh, but that would make sense, yeah. But I shouldn't go didn't go sixth form. I but, feel like it's a lot less like what you see in America, you know, how you're gonna ask someone to prom, etc. Yeah. Like, like that to me, I never saw any of that. No, I didn't. It was literally I mean, Yeah, I, I was with, with Laura at the time, so I didn't we didn't really do that anyway. Yeah. Like even if you are going with someone and you need to ask them, it would be a way more like it would literally be like, Oh, do you want to go prom? We get a limo to go though. We got, we got, we, we, we got a, a, well. a limo Hummer. I feel like, <laughs> oh no, we did just get two Hummers. I think we got two Hummers. You know what the worst part is actually? What? I think we did that, but the only they could only pick up from one place, so we all had to get yeah, a normal same. car to. Yeah. But we got a car like literally two minutes away from the location, got you. and then got that just to turn up. Oh, uh, okay. No, but well, no one waits outside. Yeah. So, so we no, literally no turned up. Uh, we literally turn up. We had two minutes inside this car. Yeah. I actually have videos on my phone of that day. But for us, remember, we live in a village. So everyone just walked to the uh, place we got pizza from. True. They're so close to each other. True. But uh, it was jokes because I, I, almost got, I almost got banned for it. But from it. Because uh, in year 11, right? I, my, my cousin, I think, started in year seven as I was in year 11. Or year eight, maybe. So we were playing football with them. Okay. And then I slide tackled someone like a kid. And like, he just told, told, told on me. And, and, I, <laughs> and I, got, I got put in um, isolation for it. And then they threatened to like ban me from prom, but um, I fought the case and uh, I got allowed in. Jake. They were saying I was being Free horrible. Randolph. Free Randolph. I was just, <laughs> my argument at the time, and remember, this is like, it's year 11 in year seven. Like, is this big size difference, to be fair? But they were, we were playing football together, so I did tackle someone and they did like fall over, but like, it was a tackle. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got, did they have the ball? No, no. I, I, yeah, they had the ball. Okay. And I won the ball. Yeah. Just checking, you know. Yeah. Needed VAR. <laughs> Maybe you just slide tackled some random kid that was near the football. <laughs> no, <pitch>. no, <laughs> like, I was not, no. We were literally just playing football. And um, but yeah, I guess the rule, the rule there is don't play football with you know year seven if you're year eleven. Yeah. But same way. Whereas I played football with that geezer. Remember who broke my wrist? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. See? Karma. Come yeah, it is karma. Sorry for that kid who had to slide tackled. But it was a fair challenge. I'm to be fair. I honestly don't remember much about prom. Like I can't even remember if we were allowed to drink. Nah, you weren't. Oh, you might have been. Because I was 18 yeah, at that point. My, Most of the year not. would be 18. Yeah, true. Because it's at the end of the school year. Yeah, my, yeah. yeah. But I can't remember because I feel like they wouldn't allow you on school, t- like a school event. If I was a teacher, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't allow it. Just because like, who wants to deal with like a bunch of year 13? Teachers drunk? got banned from, it was called Final Fling was ours. Teachers got banned from it. Why? Because one of the teachers slept with a student multiple times. Different students. Bro, I don't know. As a drama teacher. I don't know what to do with that information. Well, Tolly's stream line is yellow. What do you mean it's yellow? Look at all the... Sorry. Oh, just, yeah. That's mad. It's weird. But yeah, she sorry, slept, just... slept with multiple students. That's mental. Yeah. Is she... What happened? Nothing. She just got banned. From prom or from school? From prom. What? Yeah. <laughs> but she could still teach. But it was it was a weird thing, right? So there'd be lessons where uh, like I'd turn up late to like drama or something. And you just walk in and... I'd, no, I'd, no, one's, no one's doing anything like that. <laughs> But I'd walk in and one of the guys would just be like wearing their pants. But like everyone else was there and she was just allowing it. She was kind of like, yeah, this is, like it's kind of funny. And I was like, this is a bit weird for a teacher. The teachers were in pants? No, the, uh, one of the students was, but like walking around in pants. Why? <laughs> what type of school did you go to? Honestly, it was a weird, the it was a weird school. <laughs> is, is this a, uh, the, 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 yeah, a school, right? It was a weird school. There was another teacher that slept with a student. What the hell? Um, Why would you think about it so normally? I feel like it's but wrong. But she, 
she dated the student, didn't just sleep with him. But it was like all undercover, but like some of the students knew. And then he left. She, he was in year 13. He left uh, to go to a certain university. And then she left that same year to go teach at that university. And we were like, he's a lucky man. <laughs> what is going on? I feel like you're just dropping it in casually. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I need time to process this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, number three. Okay. UK festivals, brackets, Leeds and Reading, wireless. That's all it says. I'm going I'm to get hate for I've never been to one. You've never been to wireless? Never, never been to, I've been to, been to any festival. It's like nine times. I don't consider it a festival. You, do, you guys don't stay over, do you? You can't. Oh, okay. It's, a, it's in wireless, you can't. It's just, it's just a show. Like, yeah, we get a hotel nearby sometimes, or used to, when we lived out of London. But it's, yeah, you go, it's like a, you know, it starts at like midday, finishes at like 11 p.m., and then nothing's on. Yeah. But it's not, it's not a festival. I went, to, I've, I've been to a festival called um, Soul Survivor. Okay. J, 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 the crazy part about it is it's like a Christian festival. But this Christian Could festival was where um, the guy who leads it, like the lead pastor was... Is soul spelled S-O-U-L. Yeah. 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 No, no, it wasn't about shoes. Yeah. Well, no, as in Soul Survivor is in like alo- the lone survivor. Oh, no, no, but I was saying like Soul was an yeah. S-O-L. Uh, no, I got yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> See Kellogg's there with his shoes. Um, no, so... The guy who runs that, but very mind, it's a massive festival, so it's still like as big as like like not a Glastonbury, but like it's still like thousands of people there, big campsite, right? And the guy who runs that, who's like the lead pastor, it was the guy who's JJ's church, Ment- in Watford, yeah, Men- and mental. Because I, I was talking to him about Soul Survivor once, he knew what it was, but he Mad. didn't go to the he didn't go to the festival thing. He just went to the church. Like he went to the church, mental. But yeah, that was fun though, like camping and stuff, um, like camping around. You go to like I guess the church, but it's like the music's good and stuff, so. I mean, I'm not comparing it to Glastonbury, it's com- completely opposite. <laughs> but the, I do enjoy the, the idea of camping and then going to listen to music and then come back to your tent. It's a really cool thing. See, to that do. idea now terrifies me. It's fun, that man. Is, honestly, I can't. I hate camping. <sighs> now, I think, like, I, I think you hate the idea of it. No, I hate it. Why? It's fun. This is like, you never get a good night's sleep. Well, yeah, but yeah, you don't. But yeah, you, get, you, you do get like, better thing, you get the experience of being outside, you know. Wake up in the morning, like having like a little, uh, little, little um, stove. Make some coffee on Sounds it. Sounds awful. Make some tea on it. Sounds awful. Really? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a man of comfort. Yeah, I know, but like, I'm a man of comfort. I miss it, man. I, I don't go as an adult anymore. When, 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 when I get kids, I'll do it. But um, I've well, been in a while with my family. Haven't they announced? They've announced that Leeds and Reading are happening. I believe so. Or they hope it is anyway. Yeah, you never know. Well, if JJ does perform at anything, yeah. I'll definitely be going to them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll if, go to you, yeah. I'll go to all of them. If you, if you, if JJ performs and we can go, I'll go. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we can definitely, we'll definitely be able to go somehow. I'm yeah. not saying like you know backstage. No, I'm saying yeah, like we can try, try and get. We'll ticket. definitely be able to somehow wangle a ticket. Surely, yeah. We, know, we, we have resources. What him? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. Please, please He's performing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, My life stays on. Nothing yeah. against. I, I don't hate them. I, I mean, I've never, never been to those ones, but they look sick. Yeah, I just. Just not a fan of the camping side. Mm. It, I mean, obviously when it rains, it's tough, but... Okay, number four. Donkey rides on the beach. I'm not going to lie, I've never done this. The way you said that was weird. Donkey rides on the beach. That's better. <laughs> you, said, you said it like donkey rides on the beach. Donkey. Like there's just one donkey riding on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> From Shrek. Um, you seen Shrek's coming to Netflix? No. April the 1st. Just the same films? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Back, come back on. I'm not going to watch them again. What? I mean, I like them, but... I've seen them. I feel really dark right now in this corner. I um, looked at the lights and now I can't see anything. I think, I think the camera's just gone dull. Like, if you just touch it, I can't come back on. Yeah, there you go. Um, anyway, so... Right, there we go. Donkey... I went when I was a kid, a kid in Skegness. They're a bit... They're a bit no, they're Skegness? A, yeah, they're a bit tacky, to be honest. I've never done it. So I I thought, I thought, actually, something like that. I think it's with me and for the donkey, right? Surely, donkey just Probably. sit there all day, like... Carrying kids around, nah, not for me. Probably. When I was I a kid, it was like, oh, can I go on the donkey? But now it's like, nah. <laughs> what I will say as well is, um, this is completely unrelated. <clears throat> this morning, I was, on, I was on Apple TV, and I was trying to watch, uh, there's this guy who does a pack opening called Phil's Pulls on uh, on YouTube, right? You know how okay. people always laugh at me saying like, when I say rug, they say like, R-O-O-G, like rug. Ru- yeah. Uh, or, or if I say pool, it's like pools. P-O-O-L. I literally, on my thing, said Phil's Pulls, and it did put Phil... Phil's pools. As in swimming pools? Yeah. But I don't understand it. What, what, <laughs> what, how does me saying pull relate to two O's? How? Because I'm saying oh. 
I'm saying to you. Say his channel. Phil's Pools. That sounds like polls. Yeah, and in my YouTube comments, always, I'm on the Pokemon, I'm, whenever I say, oh, sick pool, sick pool, they always put, oh, sick pool, sick pool. <laughs> but I don't get it. So, fair, mine's, mine's uh, water. Water. I always got, I'm going to go get water. Or I say, I'm going to go get water. Oh, water. Yeah, I say that. But they always put W-O-T-A-H. Water. Water, yeah. They go, oh, I'm going to go get a water. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. So, it was, but like, when I say rug as well. Rug. Why does that sound like two O's? Rug. I'm saying O. Oh. Rug. That's R A G. No, it's not. That's rag. rag. That's rag. Rug. Rug. Rag. Yeah, I feel Can like you I... hear the difference when I say yeah. rug. Rag. So say say that first one again. Rug. That sounds like two O's. No, it's like, doesn't. It's like you're saying R O O G. Rug. Rug. No, that's rug. Yeah. Well then R O G then. Rug. That's rug. Yeah, but I'm saying rug without you. You're saying what I just said. You're... Yeah, no, rug. no, I, did, I covered you by mistake. <laughs> but, 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 but I say rug. Rug. But that is R U G, no? No. Well, I'm saying O. Oh. No. That's the phonetic alphabet. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's ah. Uh. That's not in a letter. You said if you're if you're saying it like ta, ah, uh, the. Oh. Is you? You, you'd say ah. Uh. Ah. I don't know. It's just weird to me. Anyway. I, just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't, I get, don't it. get it. I don't get it. <laughs> All right. The next one: indoor plants. Yeah, big on them. I, I, I wanted them in the podcast, but you didn't want them. I'm not an indoor plant fan. We Why? don't have room, bro. We do. Where? Little, little, well, before we did, when we had nothing behind us, we could have, have like a plant here, plant there, plant there, plant here. We had this behind us. We've always had something behind us, pretty much. No, no, no. But I'm, I'm, like, plants always bring the life into like, a room. Makes you feel nice. Does it? Yeah, because it like, brings the oxygen in. You feel like, you, you know, you, it's nice having plants. Is it? Yeah, I have one and you'll change your mind. Where? In your room. Anyway, like it doesn't have to be like on the podcast. In the room is nice. I'm big on, big light on. Damn it, so bright. That you don't like them? Really bright. No, I don't get it. You're off. Sam's off for lights. Sam's don't, off, yeah, I don't Sam's get it. Off. I don't think they have any use. I think they're just a decorative piece, and I don't think they look great. We've got plants in our living room. It's amazing. Why? Because it, it just it adds character to the room. Does it? Yeah, and you feel you feel, and then you water the plant. You take care of it. It's like a routine thing. I bet you're watering plastic plants. No, they're not. They're real plants. <laughs> I'll chat the company out, but you ain't paying us, so I won't. All right. Well, number six. Hatch. <laughs> Knitted jumpers. Yeah. I'm I'm my lights off, I think. Oh. Christmas only. I guess. I've never seen you wear a knitted jumper. I don't wear them. Did you, how is your light on? Well, like people in the family will knit something for someone. Like when a baby gets born, they'll knit like a, a jumper for them. That's sick. Yeah, but that's different. That's a baby. Yeah, but I, or like a, or like a like you right now. ten-year-old. You don't wear them. I don't wear them. But I've not. I, I do actually. I do. I do actually. When? I do. When? Uh, I'll wear one. Next, I'll put a bit weight on, so I can't. But I, I do love them. Not knitted like you can remember. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be like a Christmas style one. I know. W- wool, knit, wool, knitted wool. I always see you wear like this. There'll be videos in the pack. I'll find some videos for you where I'm wearing a knitted wool, and it can't be Christmas. Yeah, yeah, guarantee okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Find them. Might be even one in the podcast once. Find them and let me know. All right, we'll do. Then I'll accept light on. Okay, I will, <laughs> I'll do it. I'll find out my phone. All right. Number seven. Yeah. Swimming lessons as a kid. Amazing. What? What? Why are you looking at that for? I'd say lights on now because I, I am happy I learned, but they were the worst things. Really? Ever. They were so bad. I used to love them. They Every Thursday we'll go to the swimming baths. Me, my mom, my swimming friend. Baths. Yeah. You don't go to a pool? Yeah, what? You, you, never, to... you never heard of them call swimming baths? No. It must be, it's so weird how like... It... Do you know what a bath is? Yeah, I know what a bath is. So why is it a swimming bath? I don't know, that's what they were called. How big was it? Like a massive swimming pool, a proper, a proper pool. Like a, a leisure centre. So why is it... It's just called bath. I don't know why they're called bath. Like Google it, it'll, it'll come up. Swimming bath. Swimming baths, yeah. I can't believe you've never heard that. No. I don't know if it's a Midlands thing or a Northern thing or whatever, but... Swimming bath. I mean, it does show swimming pools. Yeah. That's what they call it. That's weird. Well, anyway, so we used to go to the swimming pools. Pools. Uh, me, my mum, my best friend at the time, his sister, my cousin, and their parents, right? Okay. It was sick. We used to go there. I was really good at it, by the way. I'm really good at swimming. Okay. Um, we used to Still? go. Yeah. I'm very no. good at swimming. I'm very good at it. Oh, yeah, actually? Yeah. You better than Vic? Uh, I've never 
I've never, I've never fought him in a race. Vic's, Vic's very good. I mean, less so like, less so like, like, as in like length and stuff, but more so like, nah, as in like going under and like holding my breath. And How like, many laps can you do? I don't know how many laps I can do. We're holding your breath. I don't know. I, I, it's not like We're going to have to put UV Vic and. Uh, well, I'm not going to win now because I'm, I'm a lot heavier than he is. Well, then you're not good. No, but I am. Like, like, like technique wise. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking about when I was at school as well. We're lessons. talking now. Well, uh, yeah, well, I don't, I don't, well, I don't okay. know what Vic was like at school. Well, I, I, <laughs> I, I don't school. know how fast I am, but I'm good at like, I'm very good at like, uh, like I guess scuba diving and stuff. So you, we're going okay. down, like collecting the bricks off the floor. Um, okay. And then when we go like Turkey and that, I'm like, I'm, I'm very good at like surviving and stuff. <laughs> nah, half my family, half my family just doesn't make it back from Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I always survive. <laughs> no, but I, I just do love the water. But um, anyway, so yeah, we went there and uh, after every single swim, Lesson. We used to go to McDonald's as a kid. Uh. It was sick. So I used to love swim. every day. Th- Thursday was the best day, and we used to do swim lessons. But honestly, no, I'm not. I'm not having this. I was so good at it. Like I was literally above everyone else. Even when, even at school. When you, did you ever do school uh, swim lessons? Uh, yeah. So when we were at school, um, I was like leagues ahead of everyone. Leagues ahead. Yeah. Did you have um? Did you have like groups of yeah? How could you work kind of thing? Yeah. Because we had that, but we just split it into lanes. Ah, uh, yeah. Fast lane and that. I felt really. I was always in like one of the worst ones, but not the worst one. Why? Because I suck at swimming. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I I hate like I'm not that bad anymore. I'm I'm not good at front crawl. Like mm-hmm. breaststroke, I'm all right. Backstroke, eh? And then front crawl, I'm awful. To be fair, I don't even do the, the I don't even do the crawls. What do you mean? I just swim. <laughs> so how do you? I do like, I do like a little thing with my wrist. I wrap it. <laughs> Something is like, there's part of me not even believing you can swim now. <laughs> You're saying how good you are, but I don't even think you can swim. <laughs> no, but I do feel like that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm good at swimming and I'm fast at it. I, I'm, I race my sister a lot. Very close. Okay. Um, but like, I wouldn't say I'm technically like, I don't do it like properly. I just like, I'm just rapid. But uh, I'm best. I'm just, I'm just proficient at like going under the water. I'm just good at, okay. I'm just good with liquid. Well, that's weird. Now. So you always struggled. Like, she's got long arms. I th- that's that's good for swimming. Is it? Yeah, obviously, yeah. The apparently, right? So your wingspan yeah. is meant to be your height. Yeah. And if your wingspan is bigger than your height, you're meant to be a better swimmer. And your mine not. is mine is so my you, my wingspan is bigger than me. So you should be better at swimming than you are. So I should be, yeah. Maybe it's a mental thing. Yeah, I mean I've never like I've never tried practicing or anything, but I'm not good at it. Do you like being in the water? I yeah yeah actually I do yeah I was I used to when I was a kid I used to just do lengths on holiday yeah. every morning I'd wake up and do like fifty lengths That's sick but I tried doing it when I was an adult and I mean we had a swimming pool at our last house yeah no one ever I went in it. about t- three times I think yeah that's but ah uh, doggy paddle bro I'll beat anyone doggy paddle which one's that do this <laughs> you have to keep your hands here and do this yeah and then your feet just kick I was never I was never good at feet, uh, the legs to be fair I was better with like the arms same yeah same my thing's the like. Mine's the the breathing techniques. So like front crawl, you know how you're meant to like face yeah, down and then, then turn to the side. That can't do. Mm. And I always struggled to see underwater. With goggles? No, I just never wore goggles when I was younger. That's probably why you didn't swim very but well. But loads, loads of people would just be like go underwater and then could open their eyes. Nah. The chlorine like yeah, actually nah, like you burned wear, me. I think, I think you should wear goggles. Too. I felt like a witch with like holy water. I was just like... <laughs> Did you watch WandaVision? No. I need to. You watch it. I've heard it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... I want to go swimming though. The thing I hate, I just hated it. It felt so peak because it was like the good swimmers go in one lane. <laughs> yeah. And then they just swimming up and down. And then there was, there was like a couple kids that they just were really bad at swimming. They never learned. So it was one of those things where they have to walk along holding the, <laughs> you know, the noodles. They'd hold oh, yeah. that and then the yeah. person would have to do that and try and kick. And I just felt so peak that they're in the same pool. Like, and you're, with like them. you're like booming across. And they're like, okay, everyone can leave when they finish 10 lengths. And these kids would go. Whoo, 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 done. Yeah. And then this person has to do it for an extra 20 minutes. Bless them. But uh, yeah, it's tough that. But I, I used to just enjoy like getting the bricks off the floor, to be honest. Yeah. That was See, so much fun. I got really scared once because I went, uh, I couldn't hold my breath very long at all. I didn't, I was just awful. Yeah. I was not a strong swimmer and I went to the bottom of my uh, grandma's pool. Yeah. And then I like struggled to breathe even though it was only for like, what, three seconds. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> swam oh, up wow. and I started panicking. So Yeah, I guess I'd put you off. Well, one, one thing I will say to end off this little swimming pool part is I, I was mis- misbehaving really badly once in the uh, changing room when we were uh, leaving the swimming pool. And I must have been doing something so naughty, right? My mom slapped me on my chest. Right, and it left the mark. Like it literally, just a handprint on my chest. Oh my god! How <laughs> hard she slapped me! Yeah, 
Sorry, wait, I didn't deserve it. I was being, I was being horrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm not complaining. I'm not, oh no, <laughs> she's getting arrested now. <laughs> well, the next one kind of oh. relates. Number eight, your mum jokes. Oh, I think they're brilliant. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to give you five right now. All right. Is there any that you know? Oh, no, no, no. no I don't, I, sorry, sorry. I don't like your mama, your mama, your mama, your mama jokes. Oh. I just like your mum. Like, like you'll say, no. oh, I'm tired. I'll be like, oh, your mum's tired. My mum. Yeah, I'll do like that separately, but yeah. No, I, I just like adding your mum at the end of anything. Your mum and your mum is different in my opinion. Well, I think this is this is your mum jokes, like... Nah, it's not. It's your, it, nah, how do you spell it? M-U-M? Yeah. Yeah, she just means then like, oh, oh you're annoying. Oh, your mum's annoying. That's what she means. <laughs> not like, oh, your mum is so fat, she can't fit in a briefcase. Okay, well, what about this? Okay. I'm, I'm going to read you a couple of your mama jokes. Okay. This one actually says your mum's. Not, not your mama. Okay. Your mum's so stupid, she puts lipstick on her forehead to make up her mind. So bad. That's good. That was quite good. So bad. Your mum's so stupid, when you said it was chilly outside, she grabbed a bowl. Bad. Your mum's so stupid, she stared at a carton of apple juice for 12 hours because it said concentrate. Oh, that one's good. I like that one. <laughs> what? Why did you like that one? Because it concentrate and she was concentrating. Your mum's so fat, she can't even jump to a conclusion. Don't have one. I mean... It's good, it's good. It's enjoyable. Okay. Your mum's so fat and unfamiliar with the gym, she calls it the James. I tried. I tried. (laughs) Your mum's so fat, she would greatly benefit from a calorie-controlled diet combined with regular exercise. That's not even a... What? So, right, right. So, your mum... I think your your mum... Like, your mum's so fat, jokes off but adding your mum at the end of every, every sentence on okay i love that, that. makes sense that makes sense. yeah okay number nine facetime your mum's facetime uh facetime's incredible I apologize i'm uh, sorry sam's mum sorry gail <laughs> uh facetime's incredible yeah amazing big light on i'm not a fan of it yeah but you, ain't got, you don't have a family that you speak to i do no no that's in like kids and that oh no i don't no. yeah when, when, you, when you when your brother has kids you'll be on facetime all the time okay I don't know. To me, it's always just like maybe the people that Facetime me just don't because it's always like slow. Friends, so if you're friends Facetiming me, I'm like nah. But like Facetiming family, that's good. So like if you call me on Facetime, I'm like why, why Facetiming me? Because I want to show you something. Yeah, that's fine then. <laughs> but if it's just for like a chat, I'm like why you got why, you don't have to look at me for, for to have a chat. True. I don't know. It's always you know what it is. I think I've been put off by trying like Facetime with boomers because they always do the same thing of like. Oh, is it connected? That's so funny oh, though. They have, I'm my, literally my, like my looking dad's... at them going, yes, I can see you. And they're like, oh, I can hear you. Yeah, oh. no, that's And they cute, start like though. looking around. Yeah, that's cute. My, my dad always does the Nick Merckx. Where he's like, he's like head, all you can see is his forehead. No, I like FaceTime. It's nice. I think it's a good it's, invention. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, not, not like video call in general. Not just... Not, not just uh... No, I think FaceTime. It's just FaceTime. No, that's what, I mean, no, I'm saying like any... I'm saying like Android one. Any, any like video call on the phone then. Okay. Um, you know. Uh, the final one... Don't really get it. Okay. It's the first lockdown. Yeah, I guess it's like the. F- I mean, lo- I don't like lockdown at all. Wait, hold on, hold on. I don't like. I don't like having to lock down because of COVID. Yeah, but I. It's. A, I'm glad we did. Yeah, you get me. Yeah, I mean, which one have you preferred? I was having this argument. Oh, the first one so much. I feel like the first one was, but it was. It felt like you. Obviously, you didn't feel like you could do anything. I, but I think, I think the first one, like we all had time to like, well, we, we started figuring out new things to do and things that- True, like so the like, pub quizzes and stuff. Exactly, yeah. You go through life, everything's so busy. We're way too busy. Everything's like going so fast. Like, first lockdown, it's like, right, let's just relax a bit. Let's find out what we enjoy. So I was like playing Animal Crossing loads, playing Warzone loads, doing the pub quizzes. I was running, do, you know, doing all these things that we didn't usually do that you can now have time and it was great. And now it's like, that's gone now. I'm not running at all anymore. Don't play any games that I enjoy. <laughs> it's just, yeah, you, know, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, this is just so much more brutal because we're sick of it now. Whereas the first one was very like, all right, let's establish new skills and stuff. Whereas now it's like, come on. Man. Yeah. I definitely, I mean, that one as well, I felt like even, uh, Sidemen videos are a big part of my life because, you know, we do, you do so often. main channel, we do one every week. Yeah. Plus whatever. Um, and I felt like that, back then it was like, okay, cool. We can, you know, we can do this quiz online, etc. Now it's like, because, None of us want to do them. No one wants to see them. That's that's put all of us in a bad mood. The fact that we can't do some stuff. 
And mm. then obviously, as you said, I'm just bored of the things that I have to do every day now. Yeah. Like I, I got really into COD, the first one. Mm. I was literally playing COD every night for like four hours. Yeah. Now I'm just like, I have no games to play. I've got nothing to do. I like playing COD Wolf quite a bit. You don't play it as much anymore. Yeah, uh, I don't play anymore, no. That's what I played. Um, then, even in this lockdown, you played Cold War, right? Uh, yeah. I stopped a while ago. Okay. I don't know. It just one night, I literally was just there like, I'm kind of bored. Okay. Stopped. Next night, played it for about five minutes. Went, I just can't bother. Yeah, fair. Now I've been playing Overwatch a little bit. Yeah, I saw that actually. I don't know. I have no games to play. Yeah. Finally opened the the football card. I saw store, that. Though. You have not opened Immaculate yet? No. When are you going to open that? Well, I hit 1.3 mil on Twitch. Gas, thank you. Come on. Oh, Thanks. congrats. Uh, <laughs> um, and I opened these boxes. I'm tempted to do it for 1.4 or 1.5. Okay. But it'll take, that'll take a while, obviously. Yeah. So I want to do it. I might do it like a week. I might go like a week of it or like two years on Twitch or something like that and do the six boxes every day for a week. Well, six days. Oh, you got a case of them? Yeah. Got you, got you. I was, but, I was, at the time, I was going to say, like, I, was, I was just so expensive for one. Yeah. But you got, got the you case. Got, got you. Yeah. The red, so, red ones, right? Yes. So literally like every day. See, Pyface pulled yeah. the Messi. Did he? Two of them, yeah. They did a break. It's annoying, right? Because I was watching his stream. The Immaculate? Yeah. The he, signed or? Yeah. Mad. Yeah. He was, um, he's doing Immaculate breaks and he's like, oh, Pac's all sold out. So I was like, oh, good. Uh, but so I didn't message him. But then someone who bought a box of him, Stephen, he messaged, oh, I want another one. So he went and got like, in taxi, like two more like, Immaculate boxes over to his place and then broke them for that guy. And that's where he got the messy in. But I, like, if I knew I could have, I, I would have said like, oh, I'll get a box if I knew I could have. Because it was sold out, I didn't ask. But he, he, banged, he banged it, it was sick. Mad. Yeah, I enjoy watching it. But um, I, I, wish, I wish box breaks were easier to do. Like I wish, because I'd love to do a box break. Yeah. But the whole sending off stuff is the, it's is just not, I'm yeah. not doing it. Like, <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to do the bit where it's like, okay, this is for you. You could do it. You could do it on, ask, you could do it on Poker Run. We could send it out for you. If you, want, if you really want to do it. Like, or I mean, Sidemen. So also, also send it to Sidemen. Yeah. So then you got then you got to get it to Sidemen. So you yeah. might as well just send it out. And then I have to also organize the pre part where yeah. it's like finding out who's ordering. I mean, yeah. the Pokey round. You know, if you wanna, if you wanna figure it out easy, you know, little collab. I can. You send we can me do a it. Box, I'll yeah. Do it. I don't know why that I'm getting into more like like basketball than than soccer. I don't know why. Like you think I bought some it's soccer. Just new. Box. I bought some of the football boxes. To be fair, it's just, it's just new. Football's new. What the cards are new to you? Uh, no, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm, like ages, I've, I've like known about uh, NFL, baseball, NBA, even in soccer cards for ages. But I just, I've not been interested in soccer that much. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is a case of like you'll stop collect, you'll stop looking at them as much the next time the Pokemon box comes out. The next, I don't know, whatever comes out. Yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm speaking about like, I'm speaking about like, and then like football cards. Not NFL, like football versus basketball. I don't know why I don't I don't care about the football as uh, much. Okay. Versus basketball, um, I mean. I mean, you support Forest. <laughs> yeah, you could get you could get like some sick like nineteen eighty signed card. Yeah, but no, I think you it's just really because like those, do you? I think it's just I think football like I think like basketball the rookies are like more interesting. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So you can get like you can get like a fresh new player and get like a rookie card. Yeah. Whereas like in football. I feel like if you're not getting like the Messi's, the the Bruins, it's kind of like, uh. why did you not say Ronaldo? Well, Ronaldo, I was gonna. Say, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why I didn't say Ronaldo. Said Messi, and then you just. I think I, I wanted to like paint a picture that it's not just about Messi and Ronaldo, bro. You know how upsetting it was, right? So I opened the first box, and obviously you get one autograph card per box. Yeah. I opened the first box, and it's in the second last pack. So I've opened all eighteen. So was you last. opening the, pris the prism? Uh, the chrome. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, but I get it, and I open it and it's the second last card there's only like four in each one but I literally slide it to the side because I know one's coming up in the last two packs obviously so I slide it to the side and like the camera can't see from the angle but I see a name oh, no. and literally I think to myself I don't know who that is so it's not going to be the autograph so I literally just lift it off mm -hmm. and everyone's like oh no big stinker it's the autograph it's the Atalanta goalkeeper and I'm literally I don't know who this is so I lift it off just casually and everyone's like, is that it? We've waited. This has taken me like an hour and a half to open this box because I did it so slow. Yeah. Then I do the second one and it's in like the second pack. Who's that? I got David Alaba. That's not bad. Which I was, I was happy with to be fair. That's like he's a bit, of a bit of a legend, you know? Yeah. So I was happy with it. Got a couple like normal Ronaldo cards. 
got a Messi mm. and Mbappe, you know? That's sick. I got I got cards that I like, so. Yeah, it's fun. I enjoy, I enjoy opening cards. I'm scared about these immaculate ones, though. Nah, no. just send them. Well, if you want to, you know, go follow me on Twitch. Feel free. Follow someone on Twitch. I'm, I'm desperate. I just want to see them. I, I really want to open them, but I just feel like it's a waste to just open them for nothing. Nah, nah. Like, I, like, I, I opened the basket one off camera. Yeah, so you never, never could be me. Just fun. I, I think you should enjoy it. Could never be me. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, speaking of, you know, new things, mm -hmm. Calyx, mm. this isn't actually on there. No two ways. I was going to say, yeah, came we should have. Came out, came yeah. out uh, Monday, so yesterday for us, mm -hmm. and he sold out in 11 minutes. Yeah, five, 500k. What? So 5,000 shoes. Oh, yeah. Were they, were they 100 pounds? Mm -hmm. Oh, mad. Cheese. Yeah, that's yeah, bad. That is actually so mad. Yeah. 100,000. Wow. Congrats. I think Laura, Laura, this is the first one Laura didn't get. She was watching, uh, I think she was watching TV and she just missed it. But I got, I got some from Lux. So thank you, Lux. <laughs> Laura, she wanted to collect every single one they ever dropped in, in the box. So I might have to give these up now. I keep messing up and I throw away the boxes because uh, I wear them. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't really care. It, like, and then I realized, hang on a sec, but I kept every single one in prime condition. I kind of like, I, I, I'm enjoying that more. Like, no, 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 don't get me wrong. They're very comfortable and I enjoy them. But like, I said to Laura, because she was getting size 7. So I was like, make sure you get size 7 of every single one ever to be made. But she missed, the, she missed this last one. We went on and there's still some left with size 6 and 5. And I was like, just buy 6. If you're collecting it, you just get 6. Yeah. But she's like, no, nah, don't fit me. I'm like, you're not wearing them though. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll keep, so she, I think she's got the first and second one. And I have the first and second one. So I wear those. But then this one will probably just keep in the box. Not, not, not for like to sell or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just nice it. to collect. Yeah. yeah, it's just like... You never know, like in 10 years, it might literally be the biggest shoe brand in the world. Yeah, and yeah. you're one of the only people with the original ones. Yeah. In, like, good condition. But even if it's not, just like, just because it's just looks, isn't it? Yeah. Like, just keeping looks of shoes just it feels, it feels sick like to do. like a memento kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's like, yeah, for sure. Like a sentimental thing. Yeah. That's um, why I kind of wish I kept them like pristine. But yeah. at the same time, I literally get them and I put them on instantly. True. I'm just like, I put them on and wear them out Check for them out, the, yeah. the next couple of days. Yeah, to be fair, he might have some. He might be able to get you one. Maybe. Might have some in the, in the locker. Or, you can go buy the, the resale ones. <laughs> Stock X. <laughs> I was talking to him the other day about, um, about it all. And he was saying like, because we, we put loads of pressure on him realistically. Because in our like chat and stuff, we're always just like, oh yeah, no two ways, you know. He's taking off. He's going to be the first billionaire, oh, yeah. blah, 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 stuff like that. Do you reckon he, get, gets, he, reckon he doesn't like that? I think it's just a lot of pressure. Okay, yeah. It's not, it's just, it's not really though. It's just, I don't think it's meant to be, but it's meant I to be like, get it. Yeah, it's meant to be just like um, encouraging him. Yeah. You know, more than anything. But it's talking about something that hasn't happened that True. could happen for sure, but could also not happen. Yeah. But also, I think it's good because then like it also gives him the goal of that. But I imagine if we were just like, oh yeah, Pokey Rand is going to be doing, you know, um, you're going to, you are going to earn a million pounds a month. Like you're going to literally sit there and just have a million pounds a month without having to buy anything new. That would inspire me though. Would it? Yeah. If we just if we said it, we weren't like, oh yeah, you're going to achieve this. We just said it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that, that, that drives me. Like, I think, yeah, for sure. For me personally, yeah, like, yes. if someone's like, oh, you know, pick around some new bits, I'm like, yeah, for sure, I'll work towards that. Whereas yeah. like, if someone's like, oh, it sucks, I'd probably be like, oh, yeah, true. Fair enough. Well, his uh, his other investment, this is really annoying me. It's, it's leaning more and more. Look, let's see how far I am. Yeah. This is just push it back up. We need to get a bigger bit of like blocking in there. There we go. Yeah, so, for those listening, Simon's touching the mic and it's falling over. But it's good now. You can probably hear me touching the mic to be fair. True. Uh, yeah, Calyx has now bought a KSI tweet. I was so mad at this. Why? So mad because he uh, bid on the tweet where 50 Cent tweets out saying, my grandma's making me take out the trash. Oh, fuck this, I'm way too rich. Good right? tweet. Good and tweet. I was literally saying the night before to my mates, I was like, I want to buy. This, I want to buy that tweet, and then he drops into the chat and, put, and was like, "I've just bid on this tweet." And I was how, like, much, how much did that tweet go for in the end? You uh, well, you have to fifty cent have to accept it. Uh, not bought, not bought it yet, but his bid was two hundred dollars. I tried to put in five hundred dollars and bid on it, but I couldn't because I, I couldn't log in on my Twitter. Man. But I was so not like I literally was speaking to my mate that night about buying that tweet. No, I didn't mention any of the tweet, and then Carlos goes and does that and tweet. And then the worst thing is tweets it out. So now he's gonna get competition from everyone else. <laughs> Should have kept it to yourself, looks. But then JJ sells his tweet for ten dollars. What tweet was it? It was the one where he says, um, "I've got into crypto. Uh, I'm I'm really into cryptocurrencies right now. Thanks, Calux." Uh, okay, I mean that's not going to go for that much. Else, where is it? No, but I'm just saying, like, as in, like JJ could have got more out of Calux. 
Oh yeah, yeah. And he could have said no, and then Cal could have been hundred dollars, and JJ could have got hundred dollars. So where do like how do you see these offers? Um, is there, is a website. So oh, you just okay. go to the website and log in because like, I know that J- Jack in the, the Twitter, the guy who invented Twitter or created it or CEO or whatever. He um his tweet was going for like one point six mil. His first ever tweet. Mad. It's just NFTs, I man. I was literally thinking like I reckon someone might buy my first tweet. Could do. Depends what it is. I think it's literally like hello. Nah, it's something. It's something at JJ as well. Ah, uh, okay. So I can't remember what it was. It was something like stop kissing me or something like that. <laughs> That's jokes. But I, what if I delete, like, I delete all my tweets and then I just say, like, imagine I just do one tweet says one, the next tweet says two, the next tweet says three, and I do 10 of them. I go, these are my only tweets for the year. If you want to buy them, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. Like, you own my only 10 tweets for the year. Yeah, but then... I don't care is the thing. Like, yeah, this, yeah. To me, I think it's the most, like, stupid thing in the world of buying someone's tweet. I'm not going to lie. I yeah. think it's so dumb. But then I, I do what as do well. Own? I have a screenshot of it. I own it. Nah, but I, I'm starting to get into the NFTs a bit more and more. I will never, 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 never. You will. The one day where you get into it and then you'll, you'll I'll play this podcast back to you. Never. They are, they, they are going to be a big thing in the future. I, just, I think, I think that the execution now is not really there yet. But the actual, the actual like, idea of it is sick. Um, I really want to know what my first tweet was now. But it could be a fad at the same time. Um, we just. There's no way to know, is there? I deleted on mine a while, a while ago, I think. I'm pretty certain it was at JJ or something, but I can't actually remember. No, I don't know how to find it. Well, wow, I just looked. My last tweet is 27.5k likes. Good. What, is, what was that? W2S in the mud had 25k likes. That one, might, that one might do well. Someone might buy that for $10. It's just so, like, stupid. You own my tweet. What? No, what? It's not. It's not. The, it's not the tweet I say that you own. It's just the the NFT that you own. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't get it. I don't get it. Call me a boomer, whatever you want to do. I don't get it at all. I, I, I'm not like qualified enough to explain it. I need to pee again somehow. Go do it. Tweet. Uh, tweet. I yeah, man. With what you're drink, drinking a lot of water. Um, NFT stands for. Niles false tooth. That's not true. Uh, I'm waffling now. I don't know what to say. Now, so I, I've been, I've been, the NBA top shot is one that I've been enjoying. Um, see, I don't like the aspect of it where someone decides themselves how much the NFT goes for. I enjoy the tweet, the tweet one because like people, people are bidding for it, right? So it's like if someone doesn't care about it, they just don't bid. Because if someone who does care about it wants to bid, they can do. So like in the instance of the Twitter one, like you bid. So Carlos will bid t- $10 and, and KSI will accept it. But then if I came in and bid like twenty dollars before that, he'd have to consider that, you know. So like, that's why I'm saying that the, the guy who the CEO of Twitter or the the original founder, I think founder is the right word, right? Founder of Twitter, he um his is going for like one point six mil. But then someone else could out- outbid that. I like that because it's like, you know, whoever wants to spend more. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Whereas like I feel like the Logan Paul one where he like he he said the clip of him pulling the Charizard is worth twenty k. I'm not, I like who just who decides that, you know? I don't know who decides that. Whereas. The NBA Top Shot one's sick as well because you buy a pack for like ten dollars or fifteen dollars, and you get them in that. That's cool, bro. It's sick. I didn't hear anything you said. Oh. Um, <laughs> but then, but then, and then you trade the NFT. You, then you, tra- you trade the NBA Top Shots in the, in the moments, and then they're worth something. So it's not like them setting the price. But yeah, just waffling about NFTs. Uh, well, if you want to buy an NFT and you can't get it in your specific country, you could use a VPN to get it. You could use an, <laughs> you could use a VPN, and you should definitely use ExpressVPN. Dun dun dun. So ExpressVPN, shout out ExpressVPN, by the way. Yeah, thank you for continuing to support the show. So does it make sense that the same company who controls half of online retail also passively eavesdrops? I you know what eavesdrops is a weird word because I always think it's eavesdrop. I always think it's something to do with the ear. Eavesdrops on your private conversations at home. What about the idea that a single company controls 90% of internet searches, runs your email service, and gets to track everything you do on your smartphone? Big tech is more powerful than most countries are, and they profit by exploiting your data, your personal data. It's time to put a layer of protection between your online activity and these tech juggernauts, and that's why I use, or we use, ExpressVPN. Think about how much of your life is on the internet. Sadly, every site you visit, video you watch, 
or message you send gets tracked and data mined. It's so true. But when you run ExpressVPN on your device, the software hides your IP address, something big tech can use to personally identify you. So ExpressVPN makes your activity harder to trace and sell to advertisers. ExpressVPN also encrypts 100% of your internet data to keep you safe from hackers and eavesdroppers on your network. And ExpressVPN does all this without slowing your collection... Uh, your con- you can see how much I love Pokemon cards, yeah, without showing your connection. That's why it's rated the number one VPN service by CNET and Wired. What I like most about ExpressVPN is how easy it is to use. Download the app on your phone or computer, tap one button, and you're protected. So stop handing your personal data over to the big tech monopoly that mines your activity and sells your information. Protect yourself with the VPN I trust to keep me safe online. Visit expressvpn.com slash what's good. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash what's good to get an extra three months for free. So go to expressvpn dot com slash what's good right now to learn more. Yep. And then make sure you check the link in the description. You can click it and you can actually redeem that. Um, Have you ever been on that? You can go on like, what is it? It's like Google dot com slash data or something like that. And it literally tells you information they know about you or they they think they know about you. Yeah, it's madly accurate Some of it is, yeah. Some of it will literally be like, you're within these three years age-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, you have a dog. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this is weird. Yeah, because I, 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 stuff like, I guess, Pokemon, you don't, you don't, you, that's, what, that's what you think they look at, right? Yeah. Like, oh, this guy likes Pokemon. He likes Nottingham Forest. And really, they know everything about you. Yeah. You think it's just basic interests. Yeah, it's they can tell. Everything. Yeah, so make sure you, I mean, use a VPN, but when you use a VPN, make sure you use ExpressVPN. You get three months free as well, so use our code. And thank you to them for always supporting us. Shout um, out. Shout out. But yeah, we, we use it as well, so check yes. them out. But uh, also a big news in the uh, in the YouTube world, really, like yeah. in the celebrity world, in like the you know, I guess the world of ma- media and stuff. We're always seeing you know people get married, have kids, get engaged. Whereas in the YouTube world, in in terms of our age group, it, in really in our like kind of like scene, yeah, there's not been too big, too many big announcements like that. However, Zoella has announced that she's pregnant. Indeed, with Alfie, so, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Zalfi, I'm making a new. Are they going to call that the kids Zalfi? I doubt it. Have a guess. Right now, we'll put we'll put hundred pounds. Okay. Whoever, if one of us gets it right, you get hundred pounds. Okay. Let, and we don't know if it's a girl. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a girl. Is it? Do they know that? I think so. You know what? Just to be safe, have a guess. Both. Okay. I reckon if it's a boy. Thomas or Tom. If it's a boy, I think they're going to call it Omega. I thought something weird and I was like, I just can't see it. I feel like they're not that, they're not like that kind of, th- those kind of people, you know? If it's a boy, Omega. If it's a girl, Sapphire. Sapphire's quite a cool name. You know? or, or Ruby. Okay. If it's a girl, I'm going to go with, I'm trying to think of a name. Begin- I feel like it's going to begin with S. Not Sapphire, but like like Stacy or like, but not Stacy. Sarah. There's, there's a name in my head that I've got. I can't think what it is. Something. Slatvana. Slatvana. That's my guess. Slatvana or Stacy. <laughs> is it Slatvana? Is that the right no. word? I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, they've, uh, they're they they're having a child. Yeah, sorry. For, sorry. sorry congrats. Congratulations. I'm not sure congrats for, for why that. Why are you about stupid shit? Yeah, congratulations. It's so sick, actually. To see, like, I mean, I know other people have had children as well. In, even in, in that field. I can't remember her name. Um, one, of the, one of Zoella's friends had a baby. Tony Bella? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or maybe maybe even two babies. Maybe more than that. But uh, I don't know. For like, for like... Zoe and Alfie are like the OG UK YouTubers. Yeah, yeah. I know there's others and... Or that have been older or whatever, but yeah. for them, it's like so many people. I didn't even watch them. Oh no, not, not anymore. But no, I, I didn't even watch them when I was. I used to watch Alfie. I used to watch Alfie. To be fair, I, 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 used watch, Alfie, yeah. I used to watch both mainly because like I wasn't really interested in like that style of content. But they're like back then there was not many people making content, so I just watch everyone. Like you think back then I watch everyone, I mean. like Shay Carl, you know, Toby Turner, all I, I, everyone. But that's what I mean. I didn't watch them, and yet I still knew like so yeah, much often. just because it was like that was. It was everywhere, kind of thing. It's, yeah. It's so a big event. for them now to be having a, a kid, sick, really mad. Yeah, it's like JJ having a kid but, in that, that, like, yeah, in that scale of things. One of the yeah. original, like, big YouTubers having, you know, the day PewDiePie has a kid. Maybe he's gone. Doubt it. We'd actually keep things private. He put a wedding video out. 
Yeah, true. <laughs> I don't think he'll make a like a family vlogging channel, but no. But I think um, he definitely will have a baby. Yeah, and that's gonna be sick. I wonder if they'll have a family channel. Like I always, I never know how I feel about putting your kid on YouTube because mm. they don't have a choice. But at the same time, it's like memories, it's memories. It can be cool for the kids. <laughs> yeah, and, I get, and you, you can make you can make home videos like by filming them, but you're not really gonna edit them. Yeah, you're not gonna make it. You're not really gonna make a film every day. Like you film your kids' first steps. Yeah, does that need to be online? Like if you catch it, and obviously you're an in, like an internet personality. Do you put that online or not? I don't know. Because I think um, so many people are invested so heavily into your lives. Like I think there's ways you can do it by being responsible. So like I think you can have a family channel and you can you know put your your kid online, but just be respectful. You know what I'm saying? Don't like do the dad dad of five was it or father of five whatever it was. We're like. Make, don't make your kids do st- super stuff on camera. But if you're just like going to the park. And you've... Well, because that's like, um, like Nick 28T, for example. He, like I watched the video that he, all he did was, well, part of the video. He went to the toy store on the way home uh, with his kid mm. and like just picked up a toy, basically. That was it. Yeah. And it was quite, it was very like, very wholesome. I literally messaged him and went, you should do this more. Yeah. And I was like, that. that's what I mean. Like that, well, that's what you just said. Like the content there is done right. Mm-hmm. But then again, is it like, will the kid not like it in years to come? I don't know. Because I feel like the kid will enjoy it all the way till they're about 13. Then they'll hate it till they're 16. And then they'll like it after they're like 18. Yeah. Because I'd, I'd love to have had so many videos of me when I'm younger. But I would have hated it at a certain time when I was a teenager. <sighs> I, I, I guess it's a tough one, really. I don't really know the answer, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? I don't really... Yeah. Would you do, like, pack openings? With yeah, your kid? I would, I'd do that, actually. With your kid? Yeah. Okay. So there's your answer, I but, guess. But I think the, th- the thing is, I think we have to, like, give respect to the kid as well. Like, I guess they don't truly understand what it is, like, being on YouTube, but, like, they do at the same time. Because they do, like, enjoy... Like, like I've, I've... They do, but they don't know the wider spectrum of it. Like they don't know the whole the world behind it. Yeah, but that's, that's why I say like you got to be respect, respectful and responsible with what you do. Like, for example, if you do a pack opening with your kid, like you're not forcing them to do anything they don't want to do. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Do you know what I mean? Like, but it's more like if you feel like forcing your kid to like walk on a tightrope to get like a chocolate, then that's weird. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's weird. Yeah, you know, or if you like firing nerf guns at them, that's a bit weird. you know stuff like that. Yeah, I guess it's just more because like you don't know how, like how the other kids in school going to take it. Maybe you know some of the kids in the year above watch you. But at that point there, then that's like, yeah, then, then don't do it. I guess it depends, right? That's that's what I mean. Like it is a, there's pros and cons to both. I just don't know which side I'm on. I mean, I, I'd probably film, I'd probably film pack openings privately, to be honest. If I, if like my, if I, if I was like conducting it, if I'm oh, you don't, like, you don't do pack opening, I like, would we'll film it and not, not post it. Whereas if they want, if they wanted to film it and post it, then that's different. That's fine. I, I see. I was like, doing Pokemon. I see a lot of people messaging me like, "Oh, uh, their, their kids are opening packs like me, or, or and sending the clips of getting charged on and stuff." And it's sick yeah. to see, really. And they, they, they obviously they're enjoying it, you know. Um, whereas yeah, they figure, they figure up and then they're like, "Oh, I wish you didn't do that." Then I guess yeah, yeah. I mean, it's hard. That's, that's what I mean. It's a it's a hard thing to know. I don't really know the answer. I mean, I, I wouldn't rush. I, I'm not desperate. Like post like <laughs> yeah. my kid online if I had one. As soon as you start dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I would definitely never do it for that. Yeah. Um that that that, that at that point there, that's a bit Then it's a prop. Yeah. That's, that's not cool. It's a collab. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> Imagine that your, your, your kid bangs you like JJ. Imagine. Yo, can you um can you come react to TikTok to me? I'm busy. Come on, man. <laughs> come on. Oh, please. You used me in your thumbnail yesterday, Dad. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I think I think I think it can be healthy and also not. It just depends. I think everything right now, like online, right? People just need to take responsibility. There's no right or wrong answer yeah. to, to most stuff. Just do it right. Like, be a good person, and that's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no right or wrong. It's just be the right person and do the right thing. Okay. Well, speaking of Zoella and Alfie having a kid, yeah, we've probably asked this before. We have, but things have changed. Yeah. Which side men do you think will have a child first? I think I'm still backing what I originally said. I think I think it's still JJ. Really? In fact, I'll put money on it. Outside, out, you want another hundred quid? Hundred quid. We have to do it privately because I don't want him to ever hear this. Because then, then he might be like, no, "I'm not on a baby because I don't want Randolph to have hundred dollars." 
100 quid. 100 quid between me and you. He ain't paying you. All right, 100 quid. If, it was with, if the bet was with him, then he would do it out of spite. <laughs> but if it's like between me and you. Okay, 100 quid on him having the first baby in the side then. You say JJ. I say... Vic. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd put Vic high up there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Let's, not, let's, 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 I'm, I'm going to rank it. Let's rank it. All right. Like most like least likely to most likely. All the way around. What's, what's the best way to do it? I think I think most likely first. Most likely. So I'm, I'm going JJ. I'm going Vic. Okay. Then I'll go Vic. I'm going Josh. I think Josh is... <sighs> oh, I don't know. I think Josh is like the bottom. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I do feel that. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to change it. I'm going to go Vic. Yeah. Then I'm going to go me. Okay. Then I'm going to go JJ. Okay. Then Josh. Okay. This is purely out of the fact that, you know, the other dad have like but I, long-term girlfriends. But I think that's different though because I think like just because they haven't got a long term long time girlfriend doesn't mean they're not the first like, kid. Yeah, and but also but see, see like see Josh and Freya, right? You can analyze that couple. And you could go, all right, how long do they take? And to I know each step. No, no, not necessarily <laughs> the each step, but I, I know that, but I think both of them have said they're not having a kid yet. Yeah. You know, even, even Freya as well, especially, especially from Freya's side as well. So it's like okay. we know that. I, I know that, so I'll put them bottom. Whereas like, you know Actually I'll put I'll put Toby before Josh. Okay. Because Toby can meet someone and next week have a kid, you know? Or Ethan could meet someone and have a kid. That's not it doesn't take seven days. No, no, sorry. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then, you know, it, yeah. things, sometimes it, th- things work faster. All right, here's my, here's my final rankings. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to go. You've you swayed me a lot. Okay. I'm going to go. Vic. Okay. Me. <laughs> wow. JJ. Okay. Toby. Mm-hmm. Ethan. Yeah. Josh. Harry. Harry. Oh, okay, yeah, Harry. Harry's a lot younger. True. And I know he always talks about being like a, a cool uncle or something instead. But never a dad. Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm not saying that isn't want kids. I'm just saying like he always thinks oh, it'll be cool when someone else has a kid. He never goes like it'll be cool when, you know, like I have, a, I've actually said, oh, imagine if we all have like a kid near the same age. It'd be quite funny. Yeah. Whereas he's like, oh yeah, I'll be the cool uncle. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, okay. Let's hear yours. Right. So I'm going to go JJ. I hear you on, I'm gonna go with Vic next. Okay. But then then because you're here right now, you said you're second. I feel like the union are more likely, because it's your decision. Nah, it's just one of those things where I think like I don't know, like Talia's Talia's mum was a, like a, a young mum. Yeah. So it's like I don't know. Okay. And Talia's very like family orientated, etc. Well, I think that's okay. I'm going I'm I'm going JJ. JJ, I'm still putting Vic there. Yep. Then I'll put Vic, you. Me. Yeah. I mean, I'll still I, I, put Vic above. But I would put you lower until I, until I heard this. Okay. So you gone up. Um, then I'm going to put... I forget who the salmon on now. <laughs> Ethan, Harry, Toby, Josh. Yeah. I want to put Toby. Okay. Then Ethan. Okay. Then Josh, then Harry. Okay, so me and you have the exact same. Is it? Except I put JJ third, you put him first. Okay, got you, yeah. So literally you take him out put him first and we have the same order yeah the reason, the reason I say that as well is because for example say like Josh and Freya have been, been together for so long but I always find it I don't find it fair especially me being in a long term relationship as well I always find it fair when someone says just because you've been together long you have to then move in together but also then also have a kid because you remember like they got together when they were like in, year, in like, like 16, 17 like you won't, you're never thinking about true but they've still done the same years that like if you said to me for example oh, when are you going to get married mm the three years that I've been with Talia, they've still been, to, they've had those three years at the same age. No, but it's different though because it's like, it's it's different because, no, nah, because you can't say that because then like, say if, yeah, because like, you, me and Laura, right, got together at 14. We're not going to kill at 14. No, 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 but I'm saying if you had said to me, say, say I was, um, say I'm 20, I was 20, I'm 25, you're 25, uh, Talia and Laura are 25. Yeah. And we've been together for three years and you're now saying like, oh, when are you thinking of having a baby? Or something like that. Yeah. I'm not saying you after three years is having a baby, but you've been together these same three years that I have. Yeah. Plus more. I get what you're saying. you've had the same relationship with more. But my point of view is, I don't think having like a kid is about how long you've been together. No, it's not. I think it's about like where you are individually. 100%. And together. That's that's what I'm saying. Like when you've been together for longer, 
I think you're further in that place at the same time. Yeah. Like when I'm 25 and you're 25, you're further along in that process, most likely, because you've been together for so many years. Yeah, but you can also be in that, but you can be in that process even if you're single. Oh yeah, because yeah. like, I'm not family. saying it's entirely dependent oh, on yeah, how yeah, long yeah. you've been together. It is, it is entire. It's like 95 percent, or 90 percent for me. 90 percent is like you got to be in the right place. 10 yeah. percent is because even if you're in the right place, if I'm like oh, I want a kid, and I meet someone tomorrow, I shouldn't have a kid with them after one day. Because yeah, they're is, both ready. This is true, but then, then again, that does happen. It does happen, and, they're and happy, they're, they're, they can be happy. Could, but. Yeah, because you have someone in your mind that you're looking for to have a family with, and that person could fit straight away. Oh, yeah, 100%. You'll find that. But that's I what think, I'm saying. I, I think that's, you do need a bit of yeah, you do, like, of relationship length. Yeah, to you, know def- you definitely do. But for example, like, say, um, say Josh. Like, I, I say Josh is like, even though he's had his relationship with Freya for a long time, he is a person, and also Freya as a person individually, might not want to have a kid in, until a certain age. Separately, yeah. but also together, right? Or they want to, like, you know, achieve certain goals that, yeah. like... Because I know, like, for me, for example, when I'm a dad, I want to make sure that, you know, 99% of the time is spent focused on the kid. Yeah. So it's not like, working that. Yeah. Mm. So I'm not at the point yet where I'm like, okay, I know Yeah, working. so that's why, like, whereas, like, say Ethan could be the type of person to, like, you know, get in a relationship and then a year later have a kid. Because they could both... And also you're more mature at that stage. Yeah. If you get together, like, 28... Versus 22, you know, you might be ready more. So think, that's where I think, that's why I put Ethan higher. Yeah. I think yeah, he's yeah, more yeah. likely to be, I think he is. You know, like, yeah. Whereas like me and Laura, like, I think not, not, we, I, think, I don't know, we probably would have, would have had a kid right now if it wasn't for the work, to be honest. Nature of it. Like, if, if I never moved to London, I probably would have had a kid now, like three or four years old. Mad. Yeah. But I think, so, so the, the worst thing is that now, I already Laura, got a beard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Laura wants a baby with like a really bad, but like, now we, we can't because they, Laura runs the whole warehouse on her own. So as she said, as, as soon as we can move to a newer house and, and we can find someone, not to do your job, but like when you do have a baby to do your job for that time while you're off. Yeah. Until we find that person, then no. But if we do find that person, then yeah. So every day, every day Laura's looking for warehouses now. <laughs> do you think you'll be the first in the troops to have a kid? By choice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Do you okay. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. Because <laughs> you never know. But uh, no, nah, I mean, I would have one now if we could, really. You know, but it's just things. I mean, I guess, the thing is that people always say, like, especially in my family, oh, there's never such thing as the right time. But there also is, right? There's there's a more right time. You can, yeah, like. It might like, not be the right time, yeah, but there's a more right time. I, I always think if you have, yeah, I think having like a baby is probably, probably the best thing you can do in life, right? But also, and, and, and when you do it, you dedicate everything to the baby. Yeah. Like Tali, for example, wants to be like she's a singer, but mm. she she has like high aspirations. Yeah, for a singer. So it's like if she had a kid now, she wouldn't be able to go achieve those. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. But then I think you can at the same time. She could, but she'd have to put it on hold for years. Yeah, but I, th- I think I, th- I think I think you can just get around it. You know, I think you, I think you find ways. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You can find ways. Yeah, for sure. That's why sometimes, like you know, people have a kid not not early on, but they have a kid, and it's like they still can. But then again, I guess, I guess yeah, it's some some stuff has to take a back seat. Yeah, if you want to spend, yeah, like like yeah, I think the same thing as well. Well, um, that's all boomer talk. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah let's let's move on to something. That Gold PS Five, just as much money as a child. <laughs> I actually said in that video, I say that uh, I'm like this costs eight thousand dollars, and uh, I can't remember what Tal- Talia said something about a child, and I was like. Child doesn't cost eight thousand dollars. <laughs> this does. Yeah, this is way more important. Uh, but yeah, my gold PS Five finally arrived. Yeah, and it's actually like sick. Like uh, I, it turned up in this massive box, like personalized. Yeah, it looks sick. Gold PS Five, gold controllers, gold headset, and uh, yeah, you it's... polished afterwards because did get you did get no, I didn't. And honestly, I, I showed Calyx it as well. His first his first reaction was literally pick it up, like mm. bare hand. This is like. Fingerprints all over it. Oh no, even more now. Yeah, I'll polish it when you know it's still in the case right now. Oh, you're not, you're not used it yet. I'm trying to figure out what to do with it because. What do you mean? Well, it's like, do I use it in my setup? Do I? I could have it in my room. Oh, so I think setup. So this is this is actually another thing. I don't know if we talked about it before. You know, like the Maverick Club, the Net, uh, the Full Send Club. Yeah. I really want to have one of those, mm-hmm. whether it's with Sidemen or my own or whatever. Yeah. Because I'd love to do stuff like. The gold PS5, I would happily give away. Yeah. And do a video, you know, I'd 
go to your house, give it to you, etc. Do that. But it's just one of those things where it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to just, I can't do a giveaway every month of yeah. something where it's like, it's not a club. I'm just doing it on Twitter. No, you, you could do it. Yeah, you don't have to make it like a club. You could, you could just do it. It's not It's not a viable thing to do though, is it? Each month I'm just going to go, oh, okay, here's... Nah, you don't have to do each month though. Like, no, but that's it. what I want to do. I like that thing of like constantly, you know. Yeah, but, but yeah. I, but, but like honest, with the same club of Maverick Club, they only do it because they know that like more people enter than they... Yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I mean, I don't want to do it as a money thing. I want to do it as like, a, it's just a cool thing to be yeah. able to do. Like I'm not... I mean, the, the Maverick Club is like $30 a month. Yeah. Like, I'd like, love to make one that's like five pounds a month, five dollars yeah. a month, something like that. It's not, it's not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but they'll do like a giveaway of like 10 grand cash, but then they'll make like a mil yeah. month on signups. I mean, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not planning on making that. You know? No, but what I'm saying is like, yeah, you could just, you could still make, you could like, unless you get, in, in, until you get one set up, you can still do that. Like a, like a event, make it a big event. Yeah, but it's more or like make, a, it, make, it, make it a viral video as well. Like, like a, a David Dobrik or like a Mr. Beast type thing. Yeah, I don't have that pull though. No, you do, you do. On don't, Twitter, bro. You do like a raffle or something or like like a, a, com- a competition where someone has to do something and if they win, you, you hand deliver it. It's like an Easter egg hunt type thing, but not like... Well, not, I, could, not, well, I could just use it. Yeah. Could, <laughs> you, or, 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 I mean, I would use it you know, personally. <laughs> but um, yeah. But yeah, uh, we were talking about like big YouTuber purchases. Mm. So like what, what kind of things have you bought, would you say? What's like some really expensive things that have been for videos... Or stuff that has been for YouTube. It doesn't count if it's, you know, you've bought a nice present for any of your family you. or a holiday or anything like I don't that. No, I think many just cards, really, isn't it? What's, like, what's the most expensive card you bought? Card. I think maybe the last one. Oh, no. Charizard 9, I think. Shuttle's 9, like six grand. Damn. Six yeah. Grand the card? And that's the card that I used to own as well. Sold it for 400 quid. Okay. Uh, but I've got more expensive cards, but I bought them raw and graded them type thing I've not bought a specific card I guess the box though I mean, the box we did that uh, cost more box you've done? Um, I've bought a more expensive box but I haven't broke it okay because the price went up okay you know what I mean well, we did a no actually no we did one together didn't we 20k yeah, yeah. the one I bought for the break was 27k Jesus yeah that went, that went, and then now it's back down again like 20k again great but <laughs> yeah but um I do spend a lot. I like to spend a lot on packs, but then again, it's like it's a bit weird because it's like I spend a lot on the packs. It's not really a giveaway though for someone. It's not really a gift for someone, but um, it is like me, you know, um, putting the content out there. If you know what I'm saying, yeah. Like, sure. I wouldn't buy it if it wasn't for a video. Yeah. Uh, JJ obviously got the, his chain. Yeah, the beer is chain. That's probably that's probably one of the biggest things I've ever seen. I think so. I'm trying to think of anything bigger. Obviously, like Mr. Beast. Yeah, who's bought you know houses, fifty and, cars, and yeah. twenty houses, etc. But it's not those firstly that's a sponsor yeah that he isn't keeping yeah this is I think JJ Chain might be the biggest I'm trying to think now nah, because there'll be a car like someone will go, will go out and buy a Bugatti or something but I'm, but I think, I'm, speaking, I'm trying to think of something not more cars niche, or though. houses yeah not yeah. cars or houses just a singular item something that you could you know hold his chain is definitely one of the most like ex- exclusive and like unique ones yeah I've never seen anyone do sure. that Man, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> it's actually so mad. Because I'm looking at it now, like thinking, because see, like Logan buying a box of the first edition for like 400 grand is mental to me. And JJ's chain costs more than that just for a chain. Did it? Was it not three? Do- dollars though. It converted to dollars. This is 500k dollars. Oh, maybe actually, yeah. Logan, oh, damn. Logan, Logan's box is between 350 and 450, I think. Damn. I mean, he, he did buy like five, six of them. Damn. So you need <laughs> so, a Pokemon box or a Pokemon chain? A box. <laughs> yeah. I mean, actually, yeah, I don't know which one. I'd... Actually, a chain could be more unique, you know, because like it's one of one, isn't it? Damn. Like, like a Charizard's card is sick. Of, but then but again, someone, like, can, someone can make that. It's one of one, yeah. But someone could go to the same place and go, "I want to make that again." But then, you, but then now you're now you're describing NFTs because someone could make that Charizard to the T. It's not a Charizard. True. Oh. Oh, no, get no, 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 because it's it's still different. Like, nah, it's the same. Because like, you're you're saying someone can make JJ's chain, but no one can make his chain. Like, unless you go to the same jeweler, it's not owned by him, but they could make an identical chain. I don't think they could though, because like, no one's it, seen it. But the jeweler, what do you mean? Like, like, like his beer chain. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like, like someone you can see it on the on the channel, right? But you can't measure yeah, but it. Like the jewelers know. 
and the he, he shows it in the video. He goes to the jewelers, etc. So you yeah. could go to the jewelers themselves and go, "Oh yeah, can I basically? Here's the money. I just want to buy that." Same but, then, but then they might say, "Out of in, in, in respect, no." Because you know well, what? You know, you know, then you know, that changes it. Yeah, yeah. I think they, I think they would because I think high end stuff like that. They, 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 you know, when they make watches for people, they make a custom watch, right? Like a two million dollar watch. They'll make three of them. Uh, let the customer choose the best one, and they'll destroy the rest. Mad. So that no one can, no one else can have one. I never knew that. Yeah. Well, I think you can make a replica. But you can never make exact. Mad. You know what I'm saying? Whereas, whereas like, I feel like the Charizard, you could make an exact replica. That'd still be different it, some way. It would be. It would be. But I feel like... True. I mean, to be fair, the best of the best could still copy JJ's chain. Yeah. Measure out and stuff. But then I guess, I don't, I don't know the specifics of the diamonds and the, and the, and the sapphire and stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to think, what? Zoella's baby. Sapphire. Yeah, true. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you were going to say just as well as baby's worth more than the 500k <laughs> chain. Like, well, probably, yeah, a person's worth more than a chain, but I don't know how you'd quant- like, actually you know, find that out. I'm trying to think of things that I've bought just for video's sake. I've bought, I bought two chains. Yeah, the XAX. Yeah. I've lost one. Oh, no. Still. I've, it's gone. It's, it's like long gone. Um, the gold it's... PS5. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think what else. Like, Things like hiring the, uh, like I hired out a cinema for the Dragon Ball Z. That counts. counts. That was sick. Yeah. Like that was, that was like a few grand kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of more things that I've like, hired a boxing ring for like three weeks. Yeah. The football pitch as well. You put oh, that was just, I just, you know, spent 200, 300 pounds on grass oh, okay. and just put it down myself. Okay. I got you. Um, I mean, yeah, I think those are my most. I'm sure those things, if you go online, we'll find more weird things. Yeah, for sure. Let me, let me, I'm going to look up YouTuber's most expensive purchases. You know what? You should react to it. I should. I probably have. Yeah. But they always show cars. Well, you can, you can get one custom made though. Tell someone they don't include cars. Cars. True. But it's always Necklace. most expensive things. I mean, is this actual, is this real? It's, there's a picture of Preston and he's, he's next to a, a gold toilet. He, could do that. <laughs> he could, but like, he, he like this one, this is most expensive things and it's like Dan TDM's Ferrari. Yeah. And it's like, I don't really want to see, you know, I don't want to see cars. Cars, are, it's, it's amazing when someone gets a car, but I feel like cars have all been done. Yeah. When JJ first got the event store, yeah, that man, was I'm, mad. I'm mad to fair, yeah. And now it's, it's kind of been done. Logan Paul's couch. That's an expensive one, yeah. It wasn't it like, it's like half a million dollars or something like that. Nah, surely not. It was like 80 grand or something like that. It was something stupid like 80 grand. Hey, look, yeah. JJ's Lambo's in it. Damn. I think to be fair, car, like, cars still count, to be honest. Oh, no, they definitely count when you're looking at stuff that is expensive, yeah. but I, I want to find something that's... Yeah, well, well, in our segment, we're looking for like obscure, obscure things. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's about it, really. And you and Josh bought a Mini. Again, I was like... A thousand, like 1300, 1500. Still, something. still fun though. But you still like, added, like the value you were doing to it was mental. The Trump one. Yeah. yeah. That would like, yeah. We should have really sold that, but. Where is it? I crushed it with a tank. Oh, you did. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that was also I a good way forgot. to get rid of it. Yeah, you got yeah, you had a tank. That's a good, that's a sick thing for a video. True. But again, most, that's the thing, right? Most YouTubers, as much as expensive as it is, most YouTubers will get it for free. Yeah. Like the tank, I think I paid a very like minimal cost because of the exposure, etc. Because I push them a lot. Yeah. So it's like a lot of these things where you see people have got nice things. Unless it is a car or like jewelry, mm-hmm. most of them are, they got a deal. Yeah, you're right. It's so even like the boxing ring was like, oh yeah, can we have our signs up on the side of it? It's like, yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll take some price off. Etc. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, speaking of boxing rings as well. Yeah. So there's been a kerfuffle recently yes. in online entertainment versus Jake Paul and... Tommy Fury. Yeah. So Jake Paul did a video. Well, uh, Tyson Fury called out Jake Paul well, for Tommy. Did you see that tweet that he did though? No. So you know, he did a tweet where he like, Tyson Fury posted the numbers, the streaming numbers of some fights that went on. And Tommy Fury's numbers was, was Tommy, tick. Tommy Fury's was like way more than Canelo's or something, wasn't it? On that tweet. Yeah. But the tweet was wrong. Like someone just trolled him. Oh. So someone made a tweet saying oh, no. like tomorrow or the next few days I'm gonna make up a fake uh a fake like document of like viewing figures. I think he tweeted that Tyson Fury and I think Tyson Fury just reshared it. I think I think that's how it went down. Oh no. I think he just got trolled. Oh. <laughs> but that, that troll has now led to Jake Paul 
potentially fighting Tommy Fury, especially get, going at each other. Yeah, so he called out Jake Paul and then Jake Paul said like, oh, why are you? Why is Tyson Fury calling me out? Why doesn't Tommy do it himself? Yeah. And then Tommy went, okay, I'm calling you out. Blah, yeah, blah. yeah. And Jake basically had a go at him because he looks like a Ken doll. <laughs> he was like, oh, you Ken looking ass. Oh, my yeah, yeah. And then... Tommy Fury replied with like a mop on his head and he was like, oh, I'm Jake Paul. Blah, blah, blah. It got a bit cringe. It got very cringe. Yeah. But I mean, I'd like to see it. And my whole Twitch chat has always been every day I get like 10 times I get who'd, who's going to win, Tommy or Jake. Really? I have to I have to say Tommy. Yeah, of course. Like he's a boxer. Yeah. He, he's like a legitimate boxer of years. Yeah. Jake is good now. Yeah, but, he's good. I mean, I still want to see more from Jake though. Like we saw him against Nate, but that still wasn't really. I want to see him fight a boxer. Yeah. Because this this Ben Askren fight is gonna be sick. Could be. No, I think I think I think it's still gonna be like Ben's a fighter. Yeah, but, but I think it's still gonna be better than we've seen before. I mean, it can't be worse than Nate. Yeah. So we'll okay. see. I, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> okay. look, I don't, I don't know how good Jake actually is, but you know, he seems good. He does seem good. Sounds good. But <laughs> sounds thing, confident I, enough. To I think be like, good. if I went, you know, if I went boxing for three months, I'm yeah. pretty certain I could leak three clips yeah. where I look good. You could. You know what I mean? I'm not saying I'm as good. I'm not, I, I can't box. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. easy to make yourself good in videos. Oh, yeah. And I, I, it's probably a bit of both. Like, I mean, I, I remember when, um, oh, I shouldn't laugh. Uh, Joe, when JJ and fought Joe, Are I was so the scared. bike one. Yeah, the bike. We did Joe. the bike. Ah! And he, yeah. Yeah. Or his clips where he's like, the movement's sick and the camera work. Like, I think the camera just looked better than he did. To be fair, Joe was still might have been a sick fighter. JJ just, on, on, on the night, he just didn't turn up. Yeah, but. I think Joe's already said he's done with it because yeah, like, yeah. when he fought, he fought, uh, fought Jake. Mm. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. To Jake, Jake's already, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's But yeah, so I think Jake's a bit of a... I think Jake, I think Jake to be fair, I think Jake has put a lot, a lot of work in. And I know, oh, yeah, Jake's definitely good. Yeah. No matter, but it's like what scale of good. Yeah, but it's a bit of both. Like, he's just got good, but also can make himself look better. But regardless, I still, I still watch him fight. Oh, yeah. Um, sure. Tommy, I think, yeah, I still have to give it to Tommy, of course, really. But I want to just see that because I think I still think Jake's going to beat Ben Askren. Yeah. So it's like I want to see him fight a boxer, someone who has trained in boxing, boxing yeah. for a long time. Yeah. Because even Ben Askren, who's fought a lot, hasn't trained in boxing. No, for, no, not solely. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to see someone who's trained as long as him. Yeah, I'm interested to see. But I mean, we could see where it goes. They could fight. They could not fight. But I'd like to see it. Yeah. How serious is it? Do you think it's just, it's just internet banter? I don't know. I think Jake's just trying to get as many people, as many box, as many fighters mm. to fight as possible. I can't see, I can't see Jake fighting JJ, you know. I don't think anyone cares anymore. Like, yes, they care, but at the same time, JJ's music is too big. And if Jake wants to carry on boxing, he can't really take a step backwards. If he wants to put all that aside, that's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah, like, try and fight JJ, then go for it. But you are like putting all that side because uh, ultimately he fights Ben Askren. Say he then fights Tommy Fury and wins. Then he fights JJ. It would be a big blow for like JJ and YouTube, etc. But ultimately everyone would go. Oh, he, I mean, he's he's been training boxing nonstop for five years now. Yeah, like he's he's beaten a professional boxer. Of course, he should. Yeah, be, I, I, he I, should beat him. Yeah, I mean? honestly, yeah, I think that's what I'm saying. And also, like, not, not even the fact that JJ's music going so well, but more like the amount of time he's put into it. Yeah. It's not even worth it for him. But I think JJ, oh, no, it's definitely not worth it. I think JJ still wants to though, right? I think he's still he, in, he, in his mind that has him fighting Jake. I mean, him, Jake, Logan, all of them, they're all like the same type of... Mentality. Yeah, they, they've they wronged each other in the past, so they still want to get over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if Jake said he could beat me at boxing, I'd go, yeah. Yeah. You know, if even if it's something that I think I'm actually like decent at, like say, say Theo Baker tomorrow goes, I'm better at football than Simon. I'd be like, okay, like, sure. No, I'd be like, may, you maybe. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, if we can judge it, I don't really care enough to, uh, okay. to go for it. Whereas yeah. they are like, no, I am better than you. Yeah. So I guess in Jake's head, he's still fighting JJ. Way, JJ's I don't head. think I'm better than Theo. <laughs> Theo's definitely better in a match than me. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, I think they, I think they both just have like this. It's like a clash of egos almost. Yeah, for sure. I, I imagine in JJ's head, he's like, right, I'm fighting Jake, but like when? <laughs> Yeah. I really just went. I don't I doubt I can't really see it happening. Because he's got another album. Yeah. And then it's the thing of Jay didn't even get to tour. Yeah. So he always said, Oh, you know, I'm gonna tour this year, then I'll fight Jay. Still but but we went on a new age tour and still beat Logan. 
But it's he said he was gonna, you know, go on this tour, yeah, then come back, fight Jake. Yeah. Now that he's got to release a new album at some point, whenever it is, he's then gonna have to tour because COVID's put it all off. Then if he's fighting Jake, and it's like by that point, should Jake not have had like five other fights? Yeah. I don't know. It's yeah. it's all a bit just it's just a bit long. Yeah, it is a bit long. Speaking of um Tommy Fury though. Yeah. He's got a smooth chest. He's a well groomed man. Yeah, not a single hair on his body. No, he's very well scaped. Yeah. You could say he's manscaped. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Shout out to our next one to Manscaped. Tommy Fury definitely uses Manscaped, by the way. A hundred percent. But I think he uses everything. <laughs> <laughs> right, you've seen his face. Yeah. It's a clean man. <laughs> yeah. But um but guys, COVID spring break is right around the corner. And you know what that means? Spring break in your pants. <laughs> Manscaped is here to ensure that the party in your pants never stops. Even Veronica Corningstone wouldn't say no to this pants party. For everyone preparing for a pants party this spring break, have an exclusive 20% off discount, or we do. Use code what's good podcast at manscaped.com. But that's like a tongue twister, man. Tongue twister? Yeah. yeah. Say tongue. For everyone preparing for a pants party this spring break. It's a it's a what? Tongue twister. Tongue. Yeah. Tongue's the things you use to pick up like sausages. I know, I know. That's a tongue. No, it's the same thing. <laughs> no, it's not. Tongue and tongue. Anyway, let's go. Manscaped is dedicated to helping you level up your full body grooming game. The perfect package 3.0 kit comes with the essential lawnmower 3.0 waterproof cordless body trimmer and a ton of other liquid formulations to round out your grooming routine. This is the best trimmer on the market for those of you in need of a chest like Tommy Fury or ball, I'm, I'm sure still like Tommy Fury, shave. Their third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to the advanced skin, state, skin save technology pioneered by Manscaped. Was that a tongue twister as well? No, I was just I was being stupid. You can also adjust settings to get a length you like and you can stay on top of it with almost no effort at all. This is true as well, by the way. It's very safe, very smooth and um, you don't feel nervous. No. It used to be tough, right? Oh, Back bro. in the day. It used to be like a, I'm not doing anything today. I need to shave. <laughs> yeah, this is, that's, that's the whole it's job. Like a, it's like a, it's, it's like, um, you know, when they did operate, what they did brain surgery on a grape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, like, it's actually, like, oh, oh, it's like that. But Manscaped now, zoom, easy. Um, be sure, uh, don't ruin any vibes this spring break or upcoming summer with some peaking pubes coming out of your <laughs> swimsuit. Be sure to use their crop cleanser body wash to keep your hair and skin feel healthy and fresh. I choose that every day. Inside the perfect package, you'll also find the Manscaped Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant and Moisturizer because we know how painful chafing can be when you're wearing your bathing suit all day. Facts. You know what? I actually didn't have chafing until, like, the first time I think I ever experienced chafing was only a couple of years ago. It's not great. It was, it was a shock. It's yeah. like the first time I had cramp was only, I was like 23 when I first had cramp for the first time. Yeah. I thought I was dying. Well, next time. Not on your, not, not for cramp. Not for cramp, but, but ne yeah. Next time you use ball deodorant. Yeah. Um, you'll also find the Crop Reviver Ball Toner, Oof. a spray on testy toner that's designed to give your boys a little slice of heaven. For a limited time, subscribers get two free gifts. Jeez. Jeez. The Shed Travel Bag, which is a $39 value, and pa patented high performance reduced chafing Manscaped boxes. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code What's Good Podcast at manscaped.com. Do yourself a favor and always use the right tools for the job. Yeah, so get 20% off and free shipping with the code What's Good Podcast at manscaped.com. Jeez. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code What's Good Podcast. Say aloha to your new beautiful balls with Manscaped. Jeez. So check it out in the description as well. Yeah. Thank give you it very a clean. much, Manscaped, as well. Thank you, guys. What's Good Podcast to get 20% off. You know, when I, went, when I went to Disney World, I used to walk a lot, uh, obviously around the parks. It's very hot. So I used to get chafing on my thighs. Oh. Very, very hot. So next, next time I'm going to go. Take that. I'll take the Manscaped boxes. Just, just put it on before, maybe. And the ball toner. Yeah, I was going to say. Instead of after. Do a drawing. In the middle of Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> but no, oh, I, mean, I do miss going. It's still open. I don't know how. But, um, it's in Amer the American one. Yeah. It's America. America too. It's America, everything in America is open. Uh, I saw a picture of Saddle Ranch the other day. Have you ever been there? No, nah, I don't know what that is. It's the one on, um, not Hollywood Boulevard. Santa, oh. Santa Monica Boulevard? Is that it? You know where you know like Hollywood Boulevard yeah. where that is? It's like if you carry on down there, there's like a bar on the side that has the, the mechanical bull. Oh, uh, okay. And everyone it's like for some reason it's the place that everyone goes, like all you. YouTubers go. I don't know, Vin. We're not, yeah. I mean, you I, I went every time I went for some Damn. reason. Every time I went to LA, I went to yeah. Ranch once Damn. at least. But I looked at it and it's like popping. Wow. Oh, kind of jealous, but at the same time, 
happy we're all safe. I uh, hope the first big when it's when it's all over. By the way, obviously, I hope the big trip we go to, go on is like Vegas. Yeah, if we can, though, like, as in like if it's all over for like say Europe, then we won't. We'll go no a beat or something like that. Yeah. but Vegas, I just want to go to Vegas again. Probably blackjack. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can go to a casino like here when it opens. Nah, it's not the same though. It's not. You you go there and everyone's kind of like filters out. Yeah. Like everyone's like, okay, turn up at you know seven or whatever. They'll turn up late, have a couple of drinks, go home. Yeah. I've got to be up to tomorrow. Like Whereas Vegas, out. everyone's yeah. like, I'm going. We're all going in. Yeah. We're all turning up at the same time. We all turn up. If if someone's late, we all have a drink. Yeah. It is we sick. Just spend money, stay up till five a.m. and go to bed. It's, it's just because you go there and you just go, you, we'll, we'll, we'll go there. You, you, ga- you, you go shopping, then you gamble, then you drink, then and you eat. eat. No, you eat first. Yeah. You eat, then you yeah. drink, then you gamble. Then you yeah, 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 yeah. And then you go out and you listen to the new music. Yeah. Like the new Drake song. Well, unless, unless you're in Omnia, but not the heart of Omnia. True. Then it's then like, you, it's, it's, yeah. Then Vic's having a whale of a time. Although, I say this right. I had one of the best moments I've ever had in Vegas there, you know. Because. Omnia. Omnia, but the main, not yeah, yeah. The main, yeah, because yeah. it was when me and Freezy got left alone. Mm. Oh yeah, and we walked in, and it was Calvin Harris, and it was when he was dating <laughs> Eddie Golding. Was that was that the time when we all, we went? Or was Cal, Calvin Harris already there? To be fair, and Calvin's always there. Was this the time we all went for? I don't know. We didn't go into that room. Like <laughs> when Jenny got jumped, went right at the end when everyone else was going. Right, okay, we were yeah, like, oh, yeah. we're gonna chill for a bit, and we went. And we saw, we ended up like sneaking into this like little table side bit. We weren't at the table, but he was on the table here. Yeah. The table next to him had these like proper cougars. Yeah. And they <laughs> literally like summoned us. Me and Cal are both like skinny little like virgins there. <laughs> and they're just like, oh boys, come over here. Oh, no. And they just start like pouring drinks oh, down our throat. Oh my God. And we're there like, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> oh my, that's mental. And it was, yeah, honestly, that was so, so funny. But... New music, Drake. Yeah, Drake released three songs. Yeah, you listen to them all. Yeah. So we got what's next? We got the freestyle with Le- lemon, lemon pepper. Yeah, and we got the one with little baby. Is it the middle one. I don't know. One. When one I listen to it, Ross, I just play. Is, yeah, that's the lemon lemon pepper freestyle. I just play yeah. it and let it, let it roll around. The first one is what's next. Yeah, and it's the one where it's like on Valentine's Day I had sex. Okay, that one. That's wow. the only lyric. Like, cheers, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't ask. <laughs> I want to know your. Fa- I want to. I want to hear your order of those three. Oh, lemon pepper. What's your favorite? Yeah, it's sick. Okay, and then what about the other two? I guess what, what what's next is it called? Yeah, yeah. But the, t- the thing is, when I, when someone drops the EP like that, I just I listen to it as one. So I'll play the first one and just yeah. let it roll around. But like, I don't like the one with the little baby, so I don't listen to that. Ah, okay. So I literally added. I like what's next the most. Got you. No, I got I got lemon pepper. I really like that freestyle, and it's one of the few Rick Rosses I like. I don't like Rick Ross massively, but he is uh, like the way he like flows is insane. Sometimes it, it makes you feel rich when you listen to it. <laughs> You're there like I own cars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that was weird that day, right? Because I looked at trending and you had three Drake songs: one, three, and four. Bruno Mars at number two. Damn. You had AJ Tracy there. Yeah, banger. Like it was just uh, a Justin Bieber song as well. Mm. I was like the top ten, seven or eight of them are all songs. On that same day. All in one day. Damn. Um, JJ's new song is coming soon. It is. Has he announced when? Surely. Because it's been announced on Twitter, right? I've seen like... Yeah. I don't know. But it's a very good song. Yeah, it very is. Very good song. Very different. Yeah, very different. He's got a lot, a lot of variety at the minute. Do you think it could get number one? Yeah. You think this one could? Yeah, well, I think the last three could have. Yeah. Yeah. So but I think... Do you think it's... Because I feel like he'll have one eventually, right? that will still get number one when someone massive releases. True. Do you think, like say, say Drake releases a song next week, mm. whenever it is. Do you think? Well, Drake's weird because a lot of his songs that he's dropped that go number one don't start number one. They grow. It's because he kind of drops them weirdly. He just does the right thing. He drops them and then like he'll gauge the interest and then if, if it wins, he'll push it. Like so none like, of these three to me are Drake bangers that will get number one. No, but but God's plan was a free song originally. Yeah, and then then it went number one. Uh, Hotline Bling was a, a free SoundCloud song for months before he released it properly. Mad, and that was that, 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 didn't that go on to be like number one for weeks? Yeah. So that's, that's what I'm saying. Whereas huge. yeah, but with all respect to JJ, I think he has to start quick, start strong. 
But then, yeah. but then he might have that one, like I like say, he might have that one song that is like just better than it initially does and go and carries and beats everyone else. Well, his thing could, could be this one to be fair. His thing's always like, I think Drake is one of those people that like hardcore, like music listeners that I'm not saying like, you know, he's in a certain genre or whatever, but people that like to see new music, hear his straight away. Yeah. Then it filters out to the masses and becomes like a high number and stays there. Yeah. Whereas JJ's is like, his instant audience is his audience. Mm. They hear that, push it a decent amount, and the mainstream get it. Yeah. And push it quick. Yeah. Like, like, so like, his lighter. is like a really quick spike and then slowly like goes down. Whereas Drake's is like, I mean, admittedly, it takes a couple of days, yeah. but his is like, it's, yeah, that's true. It grows. More. But I, I think with, with each song JJ does, I think he does get like gain more like 100%. fans and respect mainstream yeah. wise. But that's because it gets to the, each one's getting to the mainstream. Yeah, you're right. Like the fact that one of them gets number two, mm. everyone suddenly goes like, oh, KSI is. Like there's, there's definitely thousands of people that don't even know who KSI is as a YouTuber. Oh, yeah. Anything. They're just like, oh, is KSI released that song like a couple Yeah. Years ago. That's I mean, Lighter was. was huge. I mean, and so many people that didn't even know he, who he was. Yeah. That was playing that track. Same with uh, Don't Play as well. So, yeah, I think it's just a matter of time, really. You know what would be the madness, though, is when he gets like a number top f- top three that has no feature whatsoever. Yeah, that'd be sick. That'd be big. Because I feel like it's always easy for haters to belittle it. Cause, yeah, same, it. because it's just because just of um, Nathan Dorr. Yeah, or like, or, oh, Anne Marie's on it. So yeah. it's that's why I got number two. And it's like, well, no, it's yeah, not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, well, but it also is at the same time. Like, it is. The collaboration. That's, that's her... Is that her highest? That's her highest ever charting position. Yeah, yeah. But it's also his. Yeah. But it's like, you know, he's now done. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. So it, true. It's just about bit two uh, big artists working together. Yeah. That's what's, that's what's working. But I mean, you're right. One day, solo song up there, that'd be sick. Because it's easy for someone to say mainstream to just go, oh, yeah, uh, lie to that Nathan Dawson. song. Yeah. And ignore it. Yeah, it's true. Whereas imagine if he was the only person on the song, they have to go lie to by KSI. Think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. They have to. That'd be sick. It's the only name in their head. I'm sure. I'm sure soon come. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. Mm. I wonder if he'll like. I wonder if he gets a number one song, and a number one album. Whether he loses a bit of interest, he won't lose interest entirely. I'm not saying that. Whether he loses as much because where he's you hit go, a goal. Yeah, I mean, like, his like journey in music is like, I mean, probably admittedly not, not never been originally because of his love for the music. Like, as in, like he's not he's not grown up and been like, I want to become this artist. You know, I want to do this. Yeah. Maybe. I think he has though a little bit. Nah. He loves, he's always loved making music. Like even in his FIFA videos, it, like chemistry yeah. rap. Like, yeah. But I don't think I don't it. think it's like he's he's are you saying he's uh what's the word? What inspires him or what motivates him is yeah. also yeah. being better and better. Yeah, I don't think what motivates him is to be a respected artist. I think what motivates him is to prove people wrong and get to number one. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Which is yeah. the same, same same outcome. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not, I'm not saying he doesn't care about music, <laughs> but I'm yeah. saying like, I think that what drives him is getting number one. But I'm sure there'll be, there'll be another thing. When, once he gets number one, then he'll be like, I want to get an arena tour. I want to get an American, like number one in, on Billboard. Yeah, yeah, like. yeah. Then they'll do that. Then they'll be like, right now I want like a, you know, now I want a Netflix deal. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like a documentary or something. I'm sure there'll yeah. always be something that keeps him motivated. It, as always, like, he said he wanted to retire at 25. And when, when he, when he got there, true. he'll find something new to do. So, yeah. no, nah, he's on he's on track. Um, well, speaking of people who are doing really well, me, yeah. What about me? It wasn't me, was it? No. <laughs> I was gonna say there are a lot of people in the world who aren't doing very well. Okay. And right now, there's about six or seven that are doing awful, and that's because you lot chopped their hair off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I thought you were talking about the side men. No, no. I, like, I was like, wait. No, no. I, I like to, I, I like to, I like to do an opposite, like. Uh, my segue is I like to be long and, and surprising. Okay. Well, if he's talking about the Simon Sunday. We did a barber shop. Yeah. You've seen all the haircuts. I've seen haircuts. I didn't watch the video. I was trying to let you off there. I know, but no, <laughs> I, I, I'll admit it because I don't know why, because this is one that I'm really interested in. And I watched okay. it a bit before, like a clip, and I really enjoyed it. I, I think the reason is because I've been addicted to Valorant and uh, the NBA and gambling. Could just chuck it on at the side, you know? I could have. I should have. Yeah. But um, no, but, but the thing is, I think, I think because I saw the haircuts, I wasn't like yeah. It does take away a lot. Yeah, I wasn't like I wasn't like that. rushing to go see them. I saw people posting them and yeah. stuff. Um, so uh, after seeing it, yeah, who would you let cut your hair? You have to one person. Talk us through it. 
Right, so I'm going to say, your one, right? With the bowl cut, what were you doing? Because it wasn't like... We didn't have a bowl. <laughs> no, but I know, but defeat the point, right? Because you had it and then just went underneath it. Yeah, because he wasn't, because JJ was basically shaking it and right. tilting. Yeah. So what I wanted to do was do it, put it like that and it wouldn't have worked, but at least, you know, like rest the edge on it and then just go around. Okay. But he kept doing this. Yeah. He was literally sat there with his hand tilting. I was going to say, so it doesn't make any difference. Yeah, because the bowl, bowl cut is like you put the bowl on, then you just you just go on the bowl. Yeah, but, but you because your thing was yeah, so far there away, was like this far, like there was, <laughs> yeah. there was a solid like three inches between his head and the edge of the bowl, so it didn't make any sense. You just put your hand there. <laughs> well, that's what. Yeah, I mean, I it was funny to, though. It was yeah, funny for yeah. the video. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm so trying. I ended up doing that, and then I'm not gonna lie. By the time it got to me, I was second last. Yeah. By the time it got to me, I think the energy had kind of died a little bit. And all shock factor had gone. We'd yeah. had we'd had half a head shaven. Yeah. We'd had, you know, one line. We'd had just mess up. We'd had f- almost fully bald with Alex. Like, yeah. All the shock factor had almost gone. So I kind of felt like I need to do something almost minor. Yeah. And weirdly, a lot of people were like, you actually smashed the haircut. And I was like, no, I didn't. It was uneven. <laughs> I did a line. Well, I mean, compared <laughs> to everyone else's. Yeah. Yeah. I think Neps looked decent, you know. No. It was Neps is Neps is one of the only ones that doesn't look like a meme. It just looks shit. Yeah, like, but, but, it literally think, was a straight line and then uneven line here and then another straight line and then one line down here. But I think you can get away with that. See, cons. You can't. The cons is not normal. He shaved his head now. Yeah, yeah. And he looks stupid. Yeah, <laughs> but he really looks better than he did with the line through his head. I don't know. <laughs> but, I just want a headset all the time. But see, but see like, yeah. See, Nat is like, people will just look at him and be like, oh, it's a shit haircut. Whereas like, cons, you'll know something went wrong. Do you get me? Yeah, but I think that's better. I would rather someone thinks, oh, they've had like, you know, something, something's clearly gone wrong with the hairdresser. Rather I get than, you, yeah, that's a good point. But I'm still like, If you look but, at Nat, you're like, he's actually chosen to rock this. He's actually yeah, just got a bad haircut. But then you look at Con, you're like, just shave your hair off. And solve it. Whereas like Neps shaving his hair off would still be worse than what he had, I think. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, right? So a little spoiler. Okay. Not a spoiler, but Back. little secret. Uh, we actually had a barber there to fix their haircuts after. What? Well, I mean like Charlie, obviously. Yeah. He saw his hair was all gone straight yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we actually had someone there that fixed them up as much as they could. Conscious like, to. Well, I mean, how do you fix that? Shave it off. Exactly. Did you already plan to do it with Kirsty? I think he was going to leave it originally. But that's what I mean. Like when I say fix it up, I mean like, you know, Shave maybe smooth out an edge. Ah, okay. Not like Alex kept his. Charlie just shaved it off. Uh, Rory, for example, just had a ridiculous amount of gel in his hair that was going out. So it's just like get rid of that and yeah. make his look normal. Fair. Uh, JCC and Rory and Nep. Those are the only three haircuts to me that were salvageable. Yeah, that's like, why you, like, yeah. you could fix them. In terms of that, yes. But in terms of if he had to keep that haircut. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Whereas syndicates, right? Tom's. It looked weird, but I genuinely think you could get away with it. Yeah. Just, it was just the line down the middle. Yeah. I think you get away with it. Like People a, like just a, think. Like an anti-Mohawk. You're just, you're just really like hipster. <laughs> yeah. To be fair. JJ was joking. That, that was a funny one. With Alfonso. Yeah. That's yeah. Who he, he played the barber Alfonso. He was like, he's like mountain... <laughs> Syndicate, yeah, to to to, to do it, <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's what I could. We were, we actually said originally we were like, oh, we hope JJ gets at the end because it's like we're like viewer attention. Yeah, yeah, up. yeah. And then I don't know. Well, I felt like as soon as you get near the end, I was literally there. Like all the shock factors gone. Yeah, it's true. I don't really know what to do. So I, yeah, I did very minimal in that video. Yeah, that's what it is. I I, I still glad I didn't go on it. Yeah, con especially. We all said like we'd feel comfortable enough to just fuck on up. Yeah. So you would have got the same. Oh, oh yeah, I would have got destroyed. Yeah. Like, as soon as Rory came out, there was if I got Rory, bro, I ain't doing nothing. Yeah. I would have literally, I would have tried hard <laughs> and left it when I, if I messed up at all, I would have gone, okay, I'm done. Yeah. JCC, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll just, I'll be nice, but still stupid. If, if you, if you actually follow boundaries, I would let you do it. Cause like to be fair, I, I just shaved my sides off anyway. Like, so I trust you to do that. But no, that wouldn't if, I got, if I got JJ, literally, Bro, he would have done the opposite. Could no, no, he would have done the opposite. He would have left the sides and shaved down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been sure. it. So but to would... do man, you have to first cut the ponytail off. You can't just shave he that. He wouldn't. <laughs> Actually, he might have, yeah, just grabbed the whole ponytail. Then shave it, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it would have been a disaster. Um, 
Yeah, that, that was it would have been funny, but no, nah, not for me. It was a fun video. Guess where it is now out of 10. Um, I can't remember recent, but two. We did Tinder in the last 10. Oh, I didn't know that. And um, t- Harry V20 Girls. Oh, yeah. Four. It's six at the moment. It was actually number three for a long time, and then it kind of dropped off a bit. Mm. Now it's calorie, uh, calorie battle, most expensive mukbang, five minutes to spend, and then this. Yeah. The fact that you got like a five million view, like six out of ten is just disgusting. Yeah, in, in two days, in 48 hours, 5.7 million is number six. So stupid. I love us. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hate you all. I hate my main channel. Oh, right, Rotter. Really? I've had constant like nine out of tens. Oh, well, yeah. And when I say nine out of tens, the only reason it's not ten is because I did a montage. Oh. Yeah. And that. You should have posed to get rid of that. It's almost there. It's not. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not nearly there. My yeah. Pokemon channel is the same. It's like every video is on a nine, 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 nine. Today's was, looks like a, a six. Actually. And the worst is the last two. So I've only done two recently. Yeah. They've been bad nines. Really? Like by the time one hits a million. Yeah. This is on like 300k. Oh, shit. So it's like, you know. Okay. It's like the first seven are million. Then the next one's like 350, 300, 200. Yeah. K. Wow. It is pretty rough. I'm on six now. It's very demoralizing. Yeah. I'm like, maybe maybe I'm actually losing subs every time I post. I should just not post and hope really? that I eventually get to nah, but then, but, but, <laughs> but then like, the other argument is like, if you keep posting, that's potential to get to grow it, right? It takes, that's the hope. Yeah. I mean, I've got to beat Tommy in it to 10 mil. Now. True. He's at six and a half or something. So. Yeah, you got to use that as motivation. Yeah. Okay. Was that, like, I'm, I was at the point where I just stopped posting, but then like, it doesn't solve anything. Really. I just feel like the content I like making for main channel is not is the most hindered by COVID. Yeah. Even yeah. though I say that and then I'll post a TikTok reaction and a, I don't know, like. Just do those. Just keep doing TikToks. That's the thing. I should just do them. Yeah. They do well as well. Send them. But, but, that's what I'm starting to do. I'm starting to just do what, do, what, do what I enjoy. Do it as well. No, but that's not what I enjoy. Oh. Well then do I enjoy do them. enjoy I enjoy them. But the ones I enjoy the most are like, I go somewhere and do something really fun and I turn it into like almost like a vlog challenge. Yeah. I struggle right now. Yeah. It? Like yeah. the days where I, you know, I would hire out a bouncy castle in the side bin house. Yeah. And then we'd all play football in it and do some challenges or... I hired out the, the thing that was the swinging ball. Yeah, I remember that. Got, stuff like that was, that was like sick. the funnest. That's jokes, yeah. That's that's what I enjoy, but obviously I can't do that, especially no. in a flat. And I was doing London. And yeah, London. true. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm I'm done for today. I think. Yeah, I think that's it. We'll leave it there. Oh no, wait, no, we're gonna talk about that. No, two minutes, two minutes. Okay, just anything to get us over two hours. Wait, how long have we been recording for? Yeah, almost we have one more thing. Oh, the, uh, the Burger King. Yeah. Yeah, so we put Burger King on the list. Um, I, I don't didn't actually see this. Sam didn't see this because now on Twitter, but um, I, I, I put it on here if you had anything else to talk about. It's stupid. You, you've seen it now, right? I showed you before. Yeah, yeah you showed Yeah, me. so pretty much Burger King tweeted out, um, women belong in the kitchen. And that was it. Right, and then underneath it, they put like, because... <laughs> but no, but they have a right to if they want to. Only twenty yeah, percent. Only of, if they want to. Yeah. yeah, only if they want to. Only twenty percent of women are. Only only twenty percent of sh- all chefs are women. And we, we they, I think they actually started like a scholarship fund to actually pay to get like women into into you know um in, into the chef world culinary uh, uh, culinary business. Well, I don't know. What, I don't know what to call it yeah. culinary profession. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so it, it's actually a good thing, but they just so stupid. I don't know how that passed like approval. Well, it's definitely as you said before. It was like it's to get the initial attention yeah. and then they go, by the way, look, it's a nice gesture. Yeah. <coughs> but but no one, not everyone, bless you. Thank you. <coughs> but not everyone dives into reading. No one does. In fact, and the only way you do dive into it is to see the, the hate that they're going to get. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, what hate have they got? Then I see that and I'm like, well, I don't care. Cause they, and then someone did prove you could have put that in one tweet. If they did it, if they, if they did like, women don't belong in the kitchen. It's edgy, it's stupid, but like, and then also explain the other part in the same tweet. Yeah. Would have been okay, but they tried to get more reach and tried to go more viral. And it still would have got some attention because people would have read the first line a lot. Like I yeah. know if I see a tweet that's a paragraph and a line at the top, I'll read the line. I won't read the paragraph. Yeah. So I would have read that and gone, "What?" Then I would have read it. But the fact that you've done it as a separate tweet, yeah, it's clickbait gone wrong. Yeah. Because what if, right? If I get a, if I reply to it and got a million likes, would yeah. I become the top reply or would it still be theirs? Because if I became the top reply, I think they favor theirs because they, they do okay. it as a thread now. I was gonna say because if it if mine overtook it, or whatever. <laughs> 
then theirs is literally a standalone tweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is mad. Yeah, I mean, screen even even that sentence, like screenshot is a standalone tweet, right? If you yeah. if you embed it into a website, it's still standalone. So yeah, it is just a complete oversight. It's a mess. Stupid. And someone could retweet that as a loan tweet. As well. Retweet that. It's just so dumb. I don't know how they approved it. Like we 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 have obviously worked with a lot of brands. Like for example, if we work with Burger King on a deal, they would not approve that. Oh my god! Imagine, <laughs> but they approved their own. You know, it's stupid. Honestly, they, they, the, the thing is, as well, I know that when they were clicking send, they were like, "This is cool." I really want to find old tweets like that. You know, like what people do to cancel other people. Mm. Find old tweets of companies that you're going to work with. Oh, and then when they say like, "No, you can't tweet that." Go, tweet back. But you tweeted way worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Burger King now, I mean, just screwed. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm sick of companies doing that. Like, for, obviously, we do a lot of clickbait on YouTube, but it's like, it's not really. This new clickbait that we do is not the old clickbait, is it? No. Like the old clickbait was like, people just lie. Like like this. Someone, yeah. someone will do that. And like an edgy title to click in. It's nothing to do with it. It's like saying, oh, me and, me and Vincent Randolph react to TikTok. And it's just me like, uh, play Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it used to be like. Now it's like, um, well, it's just, it's not even clickbait it's, anymore. It's an exaggerated truth. Engage, yeah, an engaging title. Yeah. You know? It'll be things like, I mean, clickbait now doesn't mean what it used to. No. Clickbait before used to mean you've lied about something to get a click. Yeah. Now it actually does mean what clickbait means and it's you're trying to get the click with the most enticing thing. Like And content. Yeah. yeah. Like for example, if me and Randy talk about Zoella's baby, it will be titled something about Zoella's baby or like, who's the first Simon to have a baby? Yeah. And it's like, we spoke about that. We've just yeah. chosen the most enticing title. It happens on the podcast a lot. Like someone will, will title it something and someone will be like, oh, clickbait. It's not clickbait. It just happens seven minutes in. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It didn't start with it. Yeah. We'll still mention it. I mean, go look at anyone Short's channels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Harry, Harry's titles I've seen at yeah. the minute. Did you see his one getting swatted? Uh, no, I didn't see that one. He literally, he, he hears something. Oh, no, I looks, saw that one. Yeah, he, yeah, he looks helicopter. The size, there's a helicopter and he goes, oh. All right. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Bro, I can't stop sneezing. <laughs> Bless you. Bless Are we over two hours yet? Yes. Come on. Right. Well, hopefully we'll have a guest for next week. Yeah. Uh, as always, check out the sponsors, ExpressVPN and Manscaped in the description down below. And thank you for listening. Thanks. Thank you for watching. I'm going to sneeze. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.